There are many legends in this world. Seven Stars player has conquered the top list of ranks in terms of combat power. He completed the quest to defend the city alone and killed 108 invaders, earning him a place in the Hall of Fame. Player Seven Stars single-handedly killed the final boss of the world, the Demon Lord. It took him only 30 minutes, thereby breaking the record of 50 minutes set by a group of four people under the banner of the Sky Gods Guild. Player Seven Stars has single-handedly completed the final quest of the Dungeon Battle of the Skies. He killed the final boss, Heaven's Law, in 30 minutes, thereby setting another record for the player. So far no other player or guild could defeat him. This world is full of countless hopeless situations. Someone asked, Kai Zing is here? Kai Zing broke through the crowd of people and showed the bank cards to the men and said that he is here. He is buying six pieces. On the wall of the building from which he came out, there was a poster with the official release of the VR game, Ancient Gods. Kai Zing brought out a bunch of boxes and said that the game was finally released. He thought that if he resold them, he could earn 1,000 yuan in net profit on each one, enough to pay for his studies. Although no, it will wait. First he needs to pay the bills for his sister's treatment. He remembered how he sat by his sister's hospital bed and said that he would never play games again. He would be with her. Just let her wake up. Some guy sitting on a bench called out to Kai Zing and pulled him out of his memories. Kai Zing went to him and the guy said that he had transferred money to him. Kai Zing thanked him and then decided to check the amount and asked why only 40,000 yuan. It seems he was wrong. The guy took the boxes and said that two of his friends had changed their minds. Kai Zing grabbed his shoulder and told him to wait. They had an agreement. He will buy him six pieces and he will pay him 6,000 yuan on top. The guy turned around and asked if he had proof. Kai Zing began to panic and told him not to joke like that. What should he do now with two more? And even so, he must give him another 4,000 yuan for these four. Suddenly the guy shouted that there was a huckster here trying to cheat him out of money. The guys around began to approach Kai Zing and asked, Huckster, where is he? They just got bored in line. Let them catch him. He's a fraud. Kai Zing replied that this is not true. He tore open the box and put on a VR helmet and said that he bought this for himself. He is not a fraudster. This is all a big misunderstanding. The guy left, and after this incident, Kai Zing came home and said that he was a freak. Starting tomorrow, it will no longer be possible to activate Day 1 gifts. Moreover, the official version will cost only 5,000 yuan. He slapped himself in the face and said he was such an asshole. Even if he sells the remaining two at a 50% discount, he will lose by 10,000. How can he then cover the costs? He called his friend Tang Hua and said that he had been scammed out of money. His friend laughed and said that finally the huckster got what he deserved. Kai Zing told him to go to hell and tell him to be a man. He's serious. He has two left. Maybe he needs it. Tang Hua replied that he ordered the deluxe version. He asks around, and they will definitely sell one helmet. Kai Zing replied that he needed to sell two. Tang Hua said that he should keep one for himself. Game currency can be converted into real money. He called him the god of the seven stars and said that he hoped he would boost him. He immediately covered his mouth and said that he didn't say anything. Okay, he's gonna go find a buyer for him, so he hangs up. Kai Zing looked at the phone and remembered his sister who told him to stop playing games all the time. Since their parents don't care, she'll take care of them. She tried in every possible way to get him out of the computer and told him to stop playing, he would ruin his eyesight. But Kai Zing ignored her and continued to play. One day he was playing with his friends and said that he should let them try something. At that moment his sister called him and said it was time for dinner. But suddenly, following these words, a scream was heard and Kai Zing turned around, seeing his sister falling from the chair. She hit her head on the edge of the tabletop and ended up in the hospital because of it. Kai Zing returned from the memories and looked at the Vire helmet in his hand and said that if he could earn money to save her, then he would return. But this time he will not play for himself. He entered the game. The system greeted him in the ancient gods. The game has determined that it is in the Chinese region and is loading. Kai Zing looked around and thought, Is this the login screen? Why is there nothing here? The dice appeared and the system said that before proceeding to create a character, a dice with 100 sides would be rolled. He would receive a reward depending on the number rolled. If he gets a zero, he gets nothing. For every 10, the reward will be doubled. If he gets the number 99, this is a special reward. Only 10 players can get it. The dice began to spin and Kai Zing said that he saw the number 87. The dice spun again and the number 29 appeared. Kai Zing said that he knew it. 
Then the number nine appeared and Kaizing said that he didn't care. Nine is still better than zero. The dice finally stopped and the system congratulated him on getting a 99. So far, he is the only player on the server who got this number. Right in front of him, he sees the number that fell to him. And now it's time for rewards. Kaizing looked at the dice in surprise and thought, is he dreaming about this? 99, is he lucky? Suddenly some girl called out to him from behind and Kai Zing said that it was her, Kai Zioman. She said the first reward was his personal assistant. Idol Kai Zioman was chosen after scanning his brain waves. Does he want to change his appearance? Kai Zing waved his hand and replied that nothing needs to be changed. Everything is fine as it is. Can she take off her swimsuit? The personal assistant said that he should follow the rules stated in the user agreement. Otherwise his account might be banned. Kaizing bowed and asked for forgiveness. He did not want to offend her. He asked, what other awards are there? The assistant replied that his next honors were a choice of nine. Have him touch one of the spheres of light in front of him to receive a reward. Kaizing touched the sphere and the system congratulated him for getting two spots for the main role and three spots for the supporting role. In the beginner village he can find NPCs who will help him change classes and learn skills. He received 5 additional stat points. Every time he levels up, he will receive 5 additional stat points. He received 3 additional pets, the base number of pets being 2. He can now have 5 pets at his disposal to help him in battle. He received a pet, Bloodthirsty Black Dragon. The maximum level of it is 1000. He received a Growth Artifact Sword. He can name the sword whatever he wants. The characteristics of the weapon will increase along with its level. He received a unique weapon master skill. He is a master of any weapon, so he can ignore the weapon's class requirements to use any weapon at the highest level. He received a special class scroll. When he enters the game, the class assignment will be generated. He received a quest the path to becoming a god. After creating a character and logging into the game, he will be able to accept this quest. He received a unique race guardian Zheng Mu, heir to Xuan Lin. Kai Zing opened his mouth in surprise and thought, maybe this is some kind of scam. It's just an imbalance. Personal assistant said that now he can create a character, let him choose a race first. Kai Zing asked, what are the races? The assistant replied that she recommended that he choose the guardian Zhang Mu race, the heir to Xuan Lin. Kai Zing's appearance changed, and she said that this is a demigod level race. The blood of the gods flows in him. Initial value 42 points. Other races... Human 30 points, monster 35 points. Kaizing said that she doesn't have to list any further, he's not an idiot. He chooses a unique race. The initial value is 42 points, he will also receive 5 additional points at each level. That is, with each level he will have more points than others. One of his levels is 1-5 levels of an ordinary player. He will be invincible. The personal assistant said that those who received the unique reward should lead people in the footsteps of the gods. When he creates a second account, he will be prohibited from creating a character and a human and any other race that is higher than humans. Kaizing said that he already has this account. Why the second one? The personal assistant said that she would now take him to the beginner village to complete the stat settings and class selection. She asked him to follow her. Suddenly Kaizing heard the doorbell ringing and asked, Is his mother back from work? He needs one minute, he will open the door and come back. He wanted to leave the game and the personal assistant said that he had not completed the login process, so the account had not yet been linked. Is he sure he wants to save the current settings and exit? Kaizing agreed to go out and took off his helmet, then he sighed and walked towards the door. The doorbell kept ringing and Kaizing shouted that he was coming. He opened the door, but it wasn't his mother there at all. Some guy suddenly opened the door, hitting Kaizing in the face, and asked why he was so slow. Kaizing fell to the floor from the blow and saw an acquaintance in front of him. The guy asked, did he hear that he has an extra helmet? He overslept this morning and couldn't buy his own. Kaizing thought, how did Zhang Lingyao know about this? Tang Hua posted the news to a group of classmates. He's a notorious hooligan, he'll probably get himself a discount. He apologized to him and said that he already had it reserved. Zhang Lingyao grinned and asked already, what a pity. He calmly walked into his apartment and Kai Zing, why did he come in? Zhang Lingyao went to the room and asked, So is he the kind of person who forgets his classmates after graduation? Can't he just come visit? Kai Zing panicked and asked him to go talk. There was nothing to see in the room. But it was too late. Zhang Lingyao had already taken his helmet and told him to see what kind of thing he found. Kai Zing fell silent and thought that it was all over. After some time, 
Tang Hua told Kai Zing's mom that he was taking a bath. He'll eat soon, don't let her worry. It's not the first time he spent the night with him. What troubles? There is a strong male bond between them, like a father and son. Kai Zing grabbed the phone and asked what kind of nonsense he was talking to his mother. He dried his hair with a towel and told his mom that he would be back in a couple of days. If that's all, then he's dumping it. He threw the phone on the sofa and Tang Hua said that he never told what happened. Kai Zing looked away and remembered everything that happened at his home. Zhang Lingyao raised the helmet above him and asked, won't he give it to him for a while? Kai Zing reached for the helmet and said that he is using this, he needs it. Zhang Lingyao asked why he was so greedy. He'll only take it for a week. Kai Zing caught his breath and said let him give it to him. Zhang Lingyao looked at him and then without another word, he threw the helmet into his hands. He stretched his fists and asked, does that mean he doesn't want to give it to him? Kai Zing said that he better leave, otherwise he will call the police. Zhang Lingyao chuckled and then punched him in the stomach and Kai Zing wheezed in pain. He managed to stay on his feet and punched Zhang Lingyao in the face, telling him to get out of his house. He caught his breath and Zhang Lingyao said that he managed to get him out of his temper. He heard that he has a sister who is now in the hospital. Kai Zing's pupils shrank and he swung his fist again, but Zhang Lingyao caught his fist and said that his parents were struggling to make ends meet. Does he want to call the police? Apparently, he doesn't know him well. He approached him and said that one word from him and the life of his insignificant sister would come to an end and his parents will randomly die in an alley. Kai Zing thought that there were rumors at school that Zhang Lingyao was a person who should not cross the road. Even the teachers and the director crawled under his feet. Kai Zing clenched his hand into a fist, then relaxed it and said that he could take the helmet. Zhang Lingyao hit him and said that's great, but he's already pissed him off, so let him have it. The beating of Kai Zing continued for a while and then Zhang Lingyao left, taking the helmet while humming a tune to himself. Currently, Kai Zing told his friend that nothing like that happened, let him forget about it. Tang Hua told him not to talk nonsense. He came to hide at his house without warning and says that nothing happened. He thinks he won't understand him. If he doesn't want to tell him what happened, then he doesn't consider him his bro. Kai Zing replied that it was because of Zhang Lingyao. Tang Hua was surprised and asked, what did he do to run into this idiot? Kai Zing looked at him displeasedly and asked, what does he think? He hugged him irritably and said that it was not his fault that someone decided to help him resell the remaining helmet and accidentally sent a message about this to the chat where that idiot was. Tang Hua asked, so this is all because of him? Kai Zing said that he was beaten and his helmet, which had a super lucky account on it, was stolen. Does he have any idea of the cost of this? He let his friend go and said that he was joking. It was his fault for not hiding the helmet before opening the door for him, so he would try to find a way to get it back. Does he know anything about him? Tang Hua told him to calm down. It was just a game helmet and not worth chasing after. He understands that his old man earns several 1,000 a year, but even he, in the presence of his father, Zhang Lingyao, will prefer not to open his mouth so as not to accidentally run into problems. Kai Zing asked, Does his breath stink? Tang Hua asked indignantly, is he joking? He just wanted to tell him that he is a very dangerous person. Kai Zing replied that he couldn't just leave it like that. Maybe this is his only chance. After that, he called the game's support and the operator asked how they could help him. Kai Zing said that he would like to complain. The fact is that his helmet with his account was stolen. Kai Zing explained all the details and the operator said that they understood him. But in games of this kind, a protection model was provided by linking the helmet to the player directly, that is, entry would only be possible using the iris of the main user's eye. However, their company decided to remove this restriction for 10,000 helmets of the first batch in order to conduct an experiment with the ability for the player to connect to an account through any other device. All for their convenience, Kai Zing asked, what is there to be proud of? His account was stolen. The operator apologized and said that they could not return the account directly to him because it was tied to the helmet. It was assumed that such technology would only bring convenience to players. No one expected that such problems could arise. They can issue him a certificate of registration and help him contact the local police to fight the crime. He could provide his address and... Kai Zing did not listen to the end and dropped the call. He took another helmet and his friend told him not to be so upset. He could just try to buy his helmet back from him. He was willing to pay. Kai Zing put on his helmet and said that it's okay. He's the god of the seven stars. In order to play well, he does not need a cool account. He lay down on the bed and Tang Hua thought, is he sinking? 
He should help him soon. He called customer service and asked where his helmet was. He doesn't want to wait until tomorrow. He wants it now. At this time, Kai Zing entered the game and opened his eyes. He saw his personal assistant, Kai Zioman, in front of him and said that she was still here. She replied that she was a reward that was forever tied to him. But he connected from a different IP, so she can no longer change her appearance. After this, the personal assistant's appearance changed to a small talking sphere. Kai Zing apologized and said that his helmet was stolen. He was unlucky. In this case, can he use the previous account? She replied that the account and the helmet were connected. Kai Zing sighed dejectedly and told her not to continue. He understood everything. He wants to create a new character. Personal assistant said that as mentioned earlier, users with a super successful account cannot create a character of the human race. Kai Zing asked, but there are other races besides humans, right? Personal assistant replied that this is true. There are 1,000 races to choose from. Kai Zing saw different types of animals in front of him and became thoughtful. He asked, such races should be stronger than humans, right? Let her remove races whose value is less than 20 points. The personal assistant said that the request was successfully applied. The number of races suitable for its conditions is zero. Kai Zing exclaimed, not one. What about races with a value of 15 points? The personal assistant replied that the number of suitable races was still zero. Kai Zing said that even if the value is low, he can play as a race with a special specialty. For example, turtles are good at defense. Personal assistant replied that there are no races left with special skills. Kai Zing asked, is it really that bad? But it can't be that there are no more features, right? The personal assistant answered and replied that of course not. Suddenly, she became silent and began to glow, and then said that processing had begun. A race with a feature, only one race fits the condition. A jellyfish appeared in front of Kai Zing, and he said it was great. Since this race has a special skill, he wants to create a character. Personal assistant asked if he was sure he wanted to create a character. Kai Zing replied that of course, he confirms this. He thought that he didn't care that he had caught a jellyfish. The main thing is that it is a marine inhabitant. His appearance began to change, and he thought that in the early stages of the game all players would be leveled up on land, and he could take the first step to conquer the ocean. As long as no one can compete with him for resources, he will develop faster than others. The system reported that the character was successfully created, and the login to the game begins. Kai Zing opened his eyes and was very scared when he saw that he was high above the water. The bird carried him in its beak, and he exclaimed, Where is his ocean? After a series of unfortunate events, he finally ended up in heaven. Kai Zing folded his arms over his chest in irritation and said that he had no words. He called up the status window and exclaimed, Why is his avatar so strange? Moreover, the characteristics are so low. All one skill, and that one is unknown. A personal assistant appeared in front of him and said that it was her again. Now she will explain what he should do next. The first step is to have him name his character. Kai Zing pointed his finger at the name line and asked here. The personal assistant confirmed his words and Kai Zing entered the name seven stars. Kai Zing began to wait for further instructions from the personal assistant, but she continued to remain silent and Kai Zing asked, What is the second step? Personal assistant asked, Second step. This is not the case. Kai Zing exclaimed, What about the starting class? What about stat points? Starting equipment? and a guide on how to get to the starting village. The personal assistant replied that all this was only on his previous account, there was nothing on this one. And he is too far from the starting village. If he wants to get a guide, then let him return. Kai Zing slapped himself in the face and thought that things couldn't get any worse. The personal assistant said that that was all. Finally, she would say that the sun was causing him damage, so his health would be lost. Kai Zing looked at his health bar in horror, and then hid under the seagull's belly and said that fortunately, he is not a human, so his body is capable of performing unusual pirouettes. But suddenly, the seagull changed direction, and Kai Zing again found himself under the sun and began to lose his health. He exclaimed that his patience had run out. He will kill the seagull and grind the remains of it into powder. He calmed down and thought that he should wait, let it fly further. The ocean is not a starting location. Its characteristics are too low for it. If he is killed there, there is a chance he will not be resurrected in the starting village. First he needs to get to a low level location, and then he will think about what to do next. A dark spot appeared under the water and sank to the bottom. It was a huge, deep-seated jellyfish. The seagull had already carried Kai Zing to the forest, and he thought that this was great. In the dense forest, the sun would not harm him. 
but he needed to be careful not to crash. It's time for him to try out an unknown skill. He used the skill and stabbed his tentacles into the seagull's body. The seagull began to peck him back, but Kai Zing did not give up, and he noticed that his health began to recover, and he thought, is this a skill that drains health? The system congratulated him on the successfully activated skill. Skill experience plus one, current skill mastery level one. An unknown skill has developed into a parasite skill. A weak creature like him can only survive by parasitizing others with the help of tentacles. This skill deals damage based on his health over 20 seconds. Slightly restores his health. After the skill ends, if the target's health drops to zero, then parasitism is activated. Kaizing asked happily, parasitism? The gods favor him. This skill is awesome. No matter how strong the monster is, in time it will become his. Suddenly, the seagull suffocated and lost consciousness, but it immediately opened its eyes and Kai Zing saw a different view in front of him. He thought that parasitism was a success. He now sees through the eyes of a seagull. But suddenly, he began to lose altitude and thought, he needs to learn how to control the body of a seagull. He continued to lose altitude and eventually fell into a dense forest, and the system reported that he was receiving a reward. Rewards Title Pioneer, Pioneer Quest, Unknown Skill Book 1, Unknown Equipment 1, Gold 1000. Player 7 stars became the first player to leave the starting village on the entire server. Meanwhile, Zhang Lingyao played on his account and looked at all the bonuses that Kai Zing received. He noticed the ants behind him and quickly rushed towards them, cutting them into pieces. He asked, are these level 5 fire poison ants? Good experience. At that very second, the ants rushed at him from all sides, and he killed them using basic blade techniques. He cut the ants into pieces and stabbed the blade into the spider, saying that the 6th level spotted spider dies in one hit. Red-eyed, black-haired boars of the 8th level are also not a problem. Unholy dryads of the 9th level are nothing. Even the boss of this location, the demonic sea bull, poses no threat to him. The system reported that he received a special award. He received five additional stat points, a bloodthirsty black dragon pet, an evolving blade, a unique weapon master skill, a special class scroll, a quest the path to becoming a god. Special award number one received. Zhang Lingyao looked at the profile window with a grin and said that Kai Zing's account is just right for him, but this face and body are crooked. Then the monster's body began to glow and Zhang Lingyao thought, did he get a divine artifact? The system reported that in front of him was the helmet of an anonymous commander. This is a divine artifact that, if desired, hides all information about the character. The general's authority skill intimidates humanoid opponents, weakens their characteristics by 10%, and the player deals increased damage to them, plus 30%. Item Description Let him take this to the main city of Lai Zayo, however. It may not be so easy. Zhang Lingyao took the helmet and said that this is not bad, it can cover this ugly face. He reached the village of Kingxi where the players formed groups, and someone shouted that warriors with high characteristics were looking for cute girls to join the group. Men with feminine appearance were passing by. Another player asked, is he stupid or what? In this game, you cannot create a female character if he is a man. She's a real girl, will he let her into the group? Meanwhile, another group of players were fighting a scarecrow and someone asked, is it just a level 3 scarecrow, do they have to fight it in the group? Some of the players were catching rabbits, some were fishing, and some were looking for a way to change classes. Zhang Lingyao was walking along the path, and the player in front of him said that this game is too difficult. Suddenly some girl clung to Zhang Lingyao and called him handsome and said that monsters are so scary. Will he help her? Zhang Lingyao replied that of course he would help. She is one. Other girls came up to him and said that they needed help too. Zhang Lingyao smiled and thought that Kai Zing's body was beautiful. Meanwhile, Kai Zing shouted that they should not eat him. He sat on a dead seagull, which was being devoured by ants, and cursed Zhang Lingyao. His account was stolen, and the seagull also died. He cancelled the skill and the seagulls disconnected, and then rushed into the forest and decided to turn around. He saw that the ants began to chase him and shouted, telling them to leave him alone. One of the ants bit him on the tentacle and Kai Zing closed his eyes, and then jumped and the ant tore off a piece of the tentacle. Kai Zing stopped and thought it was his turn to attack. He'll hit it where it's weak, he'll see if it holds up. He hit the ant with his tentacles and the system reported that the attack was ineffective. Kai Zing tried to attack again, but the system continued to report that the attack was ineffective. Kai Zing exclaimed, if he can't break through the defense, 
then how can he even play? Okay, since normal skills don't work, he uses this skill. He pierced the ant's head and inserted a tentacle there, using parasitism. The ant began to squirm, trying to throw it off. Then it ran through the forest and Kai Zing thought that during parasitism it should restore health, and it can also capture the body of the creature it is inside. In addition, perhaps it ignores protection. He needs to try using it a couple more times to be sure. The ant tensed and then pushed Kai Zing's tentacles out of its head, and the system reported that the enemy's resistance was too great, parasitism had failed. Kai Zing fell to the ground and looked in fear at the ant that attacked him. The ants sank their teeth into him and Kai Zing's health began to rapidly decrease under the effect of poisoning. Kai Zing no longer resisted and thought that this was expected, nothing worked. Apparently, his characteristics are not enough, despite such a strong skill. This skill is still of no use. He will soon die like those ants. He doesn't even know where he will be reborn. Death will come soon. Suddenly Kai Zing remembered the vitality and thought that he was able to pose on the seagull without any problems because it was an ordinary animal. It didn't work on the ants because they are monsters and their characteristics are with a level noticeably higher than his. But what if he can parasitize a dead creature? Some types of fungi are able to control the dead bodies of those on whom they parasitize, such as cordyceps, pisolomyces, so his weak body must have a way to survive. He reached out to the dead ant and pierced its head with a tentacle. Then he quickly moved to the ant's corpse himself and thought it worked. He tried to move his paws and thought that even though parasitism was a success, it could still be discovered. The ant approached him and opened its mouth, and then Kai Zing closed his eyes and thought that he was finished. He opened his eyes and saw that other ants had picked him up and were carrying him. He thought that it seemed that the disguise was successful, he was being treated like the corpse of their relative and was being carried into the anthill. Kai Zing exhaled and thought that he was safe for now. Suddenly, the system reported that he had entered the final boss dungeon. The system congratulates the player Kai Zing. He was the first to open and enter the dungeon of the final boss of Kingshi Village, and he also started the quest, The Story of a Boy. He received a quest item, The Boy's Dagger. Kai Zing exclaimed that he hadn't watched the last one yet. What should he do? He can't kill ordinary mobs. Should he ram the boss's head to death? They entered the anthill and Kai Zing thought that it was expected that there was no lighting in the nest of low-level monsters. He opened his inventory and saw a reward of 1,000 gold. He thought that the reward of 1,000 was not bad. But the price of two helmets is 19. He hopes his mother will not find out how much money he spent. Tang Hua must remain silent. But what about the other rewards? He opened the characteristics window and the system reported that the title of discoverer was available to him he received the heart of a brave man skill. There is a chance of resurrection once per day. A true warrior is not afraid of death. God will reward his courage. He gets the gluttony skill. Let him absorb other skills to gain experience points. It wants to absorb, devour, eat. He received the divine artifact, Wanderer's Evasion. Three times a day he can teleport to a place he has already been to. Kai Zing was happy and thought that the resurrection, the extra experience points, and the teleportation ring were worth it. The system reported the progress of the quest. Quest discoverer progress 0%. Description unknown. Hint. Did he hear the heart of stone beating? The story of one boy progress 0%. The village headman wants to find out about the boy. Let him go to the village. The headman will tell him what he needs to do. Hint. He received the quest item, the boy's dagger. Kai Zing thought that there are too many words, he won't read everything, let it disappear. He decided to activate the gluttony skill and a dark haze appeared around him. The haze took the form of a monster and Kai Zing said that this is what it looks like. Suddenly Kai Zing's body began to glow and a bubble with the parasitism skill flew out of it. Gluttony opened its mouth to eat parasitism and Kai Zing said that it should not be eaten. Let it stop. He noticed a bubble nearby and thought, is this the skill of the ant on which it parasitizes? A bubble with the fire poison spitting skill was flying nearby, and Kai Zing told Gluttony that let it absorb the fire poison spit. Gluttony stopped eating parasitism and absorbed the spit of fiery poison. Kai Zing breathed a sigh of relief, and the system congratulated him on reaching the second level. Kai Zing thought if he can absorb the skills of those he parasitizes, then he will level up even faster. Out of joy, he decided to hit the ant with his tentacle, but the system reported that the attack was ineffective and the ant turned towards Kai Zing. 
Kaizen quickly hid and thought that he could. For now he could not break through their defenses, but let them wait a little, soon they would call him master. The ants continued to carry the corpse that Kaizen was parasitizing on, and he saw a light at the end of the tunnel. The ants dragged him to the room where they stored the corpses and threw the ants' corpse on the ground. Kaizen hit his head on the aphid and grinned evilly. Then he detached himself from the corpse and jumped onto the rock, towering over everyone as if he was the king of parasitism and gluttony. He reached out with his tentacles to all the corpses around and bubbles with skills began to fly out of them, which gluttony quickly absorbed. The system congratulated Kai Zing on receiving experience points, and his level reached three. And then his level increased, and Kai Zing thought that if he absorbed the same skill, then he would start to gain less experience. He hit the aphid nearby and caused it ten units of damage. The aphid looked at Kai Zing in fear, and he used parasitism on it. The aphid died, and Kai Zing said with a satisfied smile that first-level creatures are so weak and fragile. The aphid's body began to glow, and Kai Zing thought, did something fall out? The system reported that he received white aphid honey grown by fire ants, which is food for the queen ant. One drop restores 50% health. Kaizing took the honey and said it was wonderful. He turned to look at the rest of the aphids, and they were frightened by his gaze. After a while, the system informed Kaizing that he had received 30 units of white aphid honey. He left behind a pile of corpses of insects, and shaking off the dust from the tentacles, he thought, the queen is the local boss, right? He thinks he has the strength to resist her. Meanwhile, one of the ants brought honey to the queen's room and put it on the floor, then it bowed to the queen. The queen ant reached for the food and then grabbed the honey along with the ant and devoured it. Meanwhile, Kaizing raced on the ant's corpse through the anthill tunnel and said that they need to go ahead. The queen is probably at the very bottom. Suddenly, he stopped and saw the honey that the ants were carrying. He thought that since he disguised himself, maybe he should collect more honey and then sell it. In the early stages of the game, this is a very useful resource. This is one of the many ways to earn money, and he will also enjoy it. He took out his knife and separated from the ant's body, and the other ants noticed him. Kaizing landed on the ground and the fire ants began to shoot poison at him. Kaizing rushed forward and thought that his health was low, but what difference would it make if they couldn't hit him? He can easily predict their next move. He stabbed the blade into the ant's body and said that if it didn't have enough damage, then he just needed to hit the weak spot. He cut the ant and grinned, thinking that even if he had the body of an ant, he would challenge God. He continued to chop down ants and thought that he needed to show what he was capable of to accomplish the impossible. He needs to challenge this world, make people look only at him. There is something that only he can do. He will prove it in this game. His sister will definitely wake up. He will fix everything. The system congratulated him on reaching level 7. Kaizing killed the last ant and laughed and said that he probably got a whole bunch of loot. He needs to check it out. He started digging through the corpses of the ants and said that he had found the breastplate of the soldier ant. He needs to wear this. Soldier ant helmet. He needs to wear it too. Soldier ants leggings and boots. It gives a plus to speed. That's great. And what about money? Only 50 gold. And why didn't the honey fall out? Did he accidentally kill the aphids? What a pity. He equipped the armor and exclaimed, Why is the armor not showing? Doesn't he deserve some cool armor? The system congratulated him on creating an advanced blue knife combo. Skill attack is increased by 20%, and the damage of each attack in a combo is increased by 5%. Let him name his combo. Kaizeng asked puzzledly, Is this the combo he used to kill monsters? But this is a common combination that he used in other games. He called the combo Head Jab, Heart Stab, Gut Punch, Tail Cut, and told Gluttony to absorb the skill. He doesn't need pre-recorded combinations, he won't lose his skill. He went to another room of the anthill and killed the ants again. The system congratulated him on creating an advanced blue knife combo. Attack is increased by 20% and the damage of each attack in a combo is increased by 5%. Have him name his combo. Kaizing called the combo a heartbreaking blade and killed the ants again. The system congratulated him on creating an advanced knife combo. Let him name his combo. Kaizing called this combo the diving eagle strike, and the system again reported that he had created an advanced purple combo. The skill's attack is increased by 50%, and the damage of each attack in a combo is increased by 10%. Let him name his combo. Kaizing said that he was too lazy to come up with a name. Let it be the first knife. The system reported that he created an advanced combo with a knife. Let him call his combo. 
Kaizing called it the second knife and the system again reported the creation of an advanced purple combo. Kaizing called the combo the third knife and he ended up giving the name at 56 combos. Kaizing told Gluttony that let it absorb all these skills. The system congratulated Kaizing for reaching level 10, let him leave the beginner village and go to the main city to change class. He has reached the maximum level at the moment. After changing class, he will be able to continue to increase the level. Gluttony headed towards the brightly shining bubble, and Kai Zing said that there is no need to eat it. Let it come back. Kai Zing picked up the bubble and said that after all the combos he used in the past games, there was only one left. The mechanics in this game are so advanced, but he was still able to figure it out. A blow to the head, a stab to the heart, a blow to the stomach, Cutting off the tail, these are four attacks combined into a combo. All combos from the first to 56 are the same attacks. But if all the combos are even slightly different, if he controls the execution of each blow in his own way, then how many identical combinations will come out? Hundreds. One thousand? In the last game, to practice his skills, he chopped the mountain tops into pieces and cut down all the trees in the forest. He has honed his skills perfectly. But as long as he has a knife or dagger in his hand, nothing is impossible for him. The system congratulated him for creating the legendary Golden Martial skill. He can use any attack in a combo, and the damage of the attack will be increased by 100%. Let him name his skill. Kaizing said that this is an important skill that will help him reach the top. It should have a suitable name. Plus, he'll have to shout it out in battle to make himself seem cooler. So people need to understand who he is and what kind of person he is. Yes, naming a skill is an art. It is decided that he will call it the blade of the one who will become a superstar in seven days. He came up with a good idea. He took the first two hieroglyphs from his nickname. The system reported that the name was too long. The name was shortened to Blade of the Seven Stars. Kai Zing got angry at the system and said that he would forget about it. He should look at his characteristics. He has ten stat points, three he will put into health, and the rest into strength. The Blade of Seven Stars takes away his strength, which means he will have 14 points of strength. This is not bad, very good indeed. And with the help of Parasitism, he will be even stronger, much stronger than other players. Zhang Lingyao, he likes to play on his account. Although his characteristics on that account are much higher than the current ones, he is still trash. Suddenly his stomach growled, and he said that he was hungry, it was time to eat. He left the game and said that he was so hungry. He called out to his friend and asked if he had anything to eat. Tang Hua grabbed his hand and said that he was finally out of the game. He dragged him along and said that something had happened, let him follow him. They approached the screen and Kai Zing was surprised. Tang Hua told him to look. Kai Zing looked at the screen and thought that she was here too. On the screen, he saw important news with the image of Kai Xiaoman and the top players. In first place was a player with the nickname, I am the most wonderful man, he has level 23. In second place was a player hiding his face under a helmet with the nickname Blinding Sun. He has level 19. In third place was Perosius with level 17. In fourth place was a player with the nickname Baby Eastern Dragon with level 14. In fifth place in the ranking was the Swarovski Husky with level 14. And in sixth place was a player under the nickname Meet Kyobin of level 14. In seventh place was the Moon Wanderer with level 14. In 8th place was a player with the nickname Conquering the World with Cats. Her level is 13. In ninth place is the player Cold Knife. He has level 12. And in the last 10th place is a player with the nickname Moiwa, level 11. In important news, it is also reported that famous idol singer Kai Xiaoman will continue her stage activities in the game Ancient Gods. She will train with whoever tops the list of the strongest players on the second day from the moment the game servers open. The first 10 rankings have already been published. Who will be the best of them? Tang Hua said that the forums and media are buzzing. Everyone is wondering how much the developers paid for her to give up her career. Kai Zing asked if it was possible, did she want it? He looked at her image on the screen and remembered how they played together. She said that she would tell him in confidence, in reality her name is Kai Zayo. She's serious. Then he remembered how she called him by his game nickname and said that today he was obliged to help her rise to the maximum level. He was her curator. Then he remembered how they were in a rocky location and she asked if he could give her the equipment that had dropped. Kai Zing returned from the memories and told his friend to forget about it. They are on a completely different level. What do they care about her career? 
Tang Hua told him to speak for himself, he is not like him. Well, there are only advantages for her anyway. Maybe her career will only take off and her fan base will grow. The game is a walking hit. Suddenly Kai Xing quickly approached the computer monitor and Tang Hua asked if he could build his own virtual company in the ancient gods. He noticed that Kai Xing was clutching the monitor in his hands and asked what he was doing. Let him scratch his computer. Kai Xing gritted his teeth in irritation and said that he didn't notice right away. Zhang Lingyao is a freak. He pointed his finger at the monitor, where the character from his first account was in the top and exclaimed, Did he even dye his hair? Why didn't he like his character? Does he think he is prettier than him? Tang Hua replied that he had no idea. Time has passed. Tang Hua said that he played all day. What is his level? Why isn't it listed? Kai Zing stuffed the noodles into his mouth and replied that there was no point in rushing at the start of the game. The main thing is to understand the mechanics. He will soon surpass all the people on this list. Tang Hua said that he should not underestimate them. He dug up information on them here. The account that Zhang Lingyao stole from him is the only account on the server that got 99. The value of his race is 48 points. The guy in first place got a hidden treasure, he can control a level 100 angel. Perosius in third place is a legendary player, but he didn't play the same games as him. He has completed a quest line that allows him to evolve. So far it has only evolved once. All accounts have strong players who are also very lucky. Kai Zing said that he understood everything, let him keep quiet. Tang Hua shrugged and said that he knew he would react this way. Let him read the comments. Someone in the comments asked if there are even people who don't know the seven stars. If he had been in this game, he would have been at the top of the list long ago. The other person replied that he knew this guy. To practice his sword skills, he slaughtered the same village of bandits on cooldown. The players who came into his hands were also killed. Another user wrote that he remembers it. In a game he played to kill a dragon for a perfect score, he killed it 100 times. The developers renamed the boss from Black Flame Dragon to Sad Dragon. The number of its passages is already 784. Then the developers increased the dragon's characteristics 10 times, so it became even more popular. Another user wrote that he also heard that he always makes himself a harem in every game and then pursues these girls in real life. He attached a photo to the comment and signed that this fat guy. From such comments, Kai Zing spat out all the food and Tang Hua laughed and said that everyone who had heard anything about him wanted to unite against him in order to prevent him from capturing the ancient gods. Kai Zing got angry and began to furiously type something on the keyboard, exclaiming that he himself was a fatty. He will report it. Let him delete the post. It's all because of the guilds that didn't manage to kill the boss faster than him. They started talking all sorts of nasty things about him. Tang Hua sighed and said that, of course, he is always their hero. He also dug up information about the game world. Let him listen. In Kingsey Village, there are 32 quests for beginners. They give almost no experience. It is very difficult to kill monsters alone. People unite in groups of three. There is almost no loot drop, so even a regular sword costs 50 real yuan. And if the sword has at least some bonuses and characteristics, then we are talking about four-digit numbers. Equipment, skills, and skill books come in rarity. Common, advanced, rare, and divine. Ordinary are indicated in white, advanced in blue, rare in purple, divine in gold. By the way, the freak Zhang Lingyao is terribly lucky. He already has two divine ones. Kai Zing interrupted him and asked what he said. Regular equipment costs 50 yuan. Tang Hua turned around and confirmed his words, asking, Does he have a lot of equipment? Kai Zing, excited, swallowed his saliva and exclaimed, A lot? He cut out an entire anthill. His mouth began to drool and Tang Hua told him to wipe it off. That is, he has his own area for pumping. Kai Zing replied that there was a lot of loot left there, since he only took white honey, which can restore health. Tang Hua started pushing him towards the bed and asked him why he was so stupid. Let him go and collect it. The loot will not disappear until other players or monsters take it. Kai Zing said that he should not push. He decided to look at the monitor screen one last time and saw Kai Xiaoman there. After that, Kai Zing returned to the game and began collecting all the loot. He counted 25 items and then ran to the corpses and said that there were more. Soldier ant sword, soldier ant helmet, soldier ant leggings. He had already collected a whole bag of loot and said that he was rich. More than 50 items. There's even a ready-made armor set. He is sure that the queen probably has cool loot. At least purple. I happily hummed the song under my breath. He continued collecting loot and headed towards the queen's lair. 
He stopped in front of a huge ominous cave, and, looking at the size of the passage, thought, What is this? A monster of this size near the newbie village? He went inside the cave where the queen ant was wandering and hid behind a stone. He pressed himself into the stone out of fear and thought that it had not yet noticed him. He analyzed the status of the boss and a system window appeared in front of Kai Zing, which showed that the fire ant queen had a class level of 500, a race value of 25, and a level of 50. Intelligence 10, health 6, strength 5, toughness 2, charisma, and agility 1. Since the difference in levels is too great, the skill cannot be determined. It's the queen who gave birth to the fire ants, but it doesn't look like it was born here itself. Kai Zing thought, are they saying that it has so much intelligence? Players leave the beginner village at level 10, and the developers put such a monster here. He would like to say a few kind words to the game designer. He fell silent and continued to look at the system window, and then said that he even liked it. Now he is sure that there is something rare here, so he needs to get ready. He looked through his inventory, skills, and said consumables, spare weapons, everything was ready. Suddenly he noticed an ant who was rolling honey towards the queen. The ant also noticed him and stopped. Then Kai Zing killed the ant and took the honey and asked where it took his honey. He took out his knife and then looked threateningly at the queen ant and the fight began. He rushed towards the queen and asked where it was staring. He jumped up to the queen's muzzle and attacked it with the blade of seven stars. He rushed past the monster and noticed that the queen was attacking him, but he did not have time to return and lost almost all his health but he took out honey and restored his health to maximum. Then he charged again to try again. He jumped, it opened its mouth, and when the queen's jaws closed, Kai Zing quickly jumped back and raised his knife. He attacked the ant queen right in the eye and it lost 140 health units. Kai Zing grinned and said that this is a weak point, now it will burst like a balloon. He thrust his blade into the ant's weak spot, but was unable to penetrate the shell and was thrown back. He thought it was reflection magic. He didn't even notice how it used magic. He fell to the ground and rolled for some distance, and then the ant rushed straight at him, its mouth wide open, and the system informed Kai Zing that he was stunned. Kai Zing began to worry and thought that he needed to move. He couldn't die here. Suddenly he noticed the corpse of an ant next to him and was parasitizing, and then quickly approached it. The queen ant immediately stopped and Kai Zing dropped the honey. He thought that the difference of 40 levels was too noticeable. The honey attracted the monster's attention, and it began to examine it. Kai Zing thought that he had already understood what the creator of this boss was up to. To defeat the Ant Queen, he needs to do something. This monster has high health, high strength, low durability, and agility. And despite its high intelligence, it has only one logical skill deflecting attacks protects its lower body. If a group of players who have not yet changed class is assembled, then it will take five people to win, no, maybe even ten. Only then will there be a chance to defeat this monster. This is a common boss for beginners who have just started playing. But if his guesses turn out to be true, then it has a weak point. With this thought, he threw the honey into the air and the gaze of the queen of ants rushed behind it. He thought that this was a queen who breeds fire ants, which means that its primary goal is food. It means it will be distracted by food. Kai Zing jumped on the ant's corpse and said that then he will begin. He threw another honey to the side and then attacked the boss and again dealt damage. The ant queen swung her paw sharply to attack Kai Zing and he tried to take the blow but could not resist and received damage. He thought that they both ate one drop of honey, he wouldn't have enough of it. He needs to optimize the plan. He needs to bring in the bodies of the ants. He picked up one ant corpse and dragged it to the queen, and then threw honey towards the other corpse, and as soon as the queen was distracted, he struck and used parasitism to evade the monster's blow. He took out the honey again and attracted the queen's attention, and then threw it towards the corpse and the queen's gaze followed the food. At that same second, Kai Zing jumped out of the corpse and attacked the queen, and then parasitized again. This continued several times until he knocked off half of the ant queen's health. The queen ant reached her paw towards the honey and Kai Zing parasitized on the corpse, which was right next to the honey. He took all the honey and said that the queen is so insatiable. He ran over to the other corpse and started teasing the boss with honey, saying that they weren't done yet. He places bait near one body and escapes to the second with the help of parasitism. This is how he manages to attack and avoid damage. When the queen has almost reached the bait, he transfers it to another body. 
While there are two bodies lying here, and the queen is in front of them, it turns out to be a triangle. It is constantly distracted by only one, then the other. Sooner or later, he will win. This is the method he invented, the triangle of seven stars. In the end, the ant queen's health almost reached zero, and Kai Zing decided to strike a decisive blow with the blade of the seven stars. He attacked the monster and cut off its head. Then the system congratulated him on killing the boss, mutated fire ant queen. He completed the dungeon alone, experience bonus plus 400%. He received the title of miracle worker. Every 24 days, he can cancel the effect of random events. He received a level 6 pet egg, mutated fire ant queen. He can improve his skills, let him choose to improve the quality of the skill three times or transform the skill once. Kai Zing tiredly fell to the ground and said that this is great, he will improve his skills. A system window appeared in front of him and Kai Zing exclaimed, why can he only choose one? Parasitism's current rarity is common, he can upgrade it to legendary, but he wants to buff gluttony as well. Kai Zing was faced with a choice and looked at the title of Miracle Worker, then he chose Transformation for Parasitism. A system window appeared in front of him, which reported that parasitism had a 98.6% chance of mutating into latent parasitism. When he uses parasitism, he becomes invisible. It also allows him to use parasitism safely. Kaizing exclaimed that this is such a useless mutation. He activated the title of Miracle Worker, and the system reported that parasitism was mutating into symbiosis. If the target's will is weak, he can parasitize the victim's body and take control of it. Kaizing said that this is very cool. The system reported that parasitism inflicts damage to the target equal to the actual health value for 20 seconds and has a certain healing effect. After the skill ends, if the enemy's health value returns to zero, parasitism is triggered. Symbiosis. If the target's will is broken, it can parasitize the victim's body and take control of it. Kaizing thought that parasitism only works on those who have less health than him or on the dead and Symbiosis can control targets weakened by a debuff. Okay, he'll look at the loot. Purple and golden flashes appeared behind him and Kai Zing rejoiced, saying that you are a divine artifact. But suddenly the light of the divine artifact disappeared and Kai Zing looked at the ordinary artifact where the divine one had previously been. He rubbed his eyes and again, not seeing the divine artifact, asked where his artifact was. Where is his legendary artifact? Let it not hide. After that, he contacted customer service and said that he had definitely seen the light of a divine artifact. If they don't believe him, then let them watch the video. The girl said that out of the eight items, the most valuable is the rare item, Ant Flame Hope Fang. Now she will check. Suddenly Kai Zing abruptly told her to stop and she got scared. He counted nine artifacts and thought there was one extra. Is this a bug? He asked for forgiveness and told her to continue. She said that the video clearly shows the effects of the legendary artifact falling out. Maybe this really is a bug. She will ask that he be given a divine artifact suitable for his level. Kaizing asked, Ancient Gods has been out for three days, right? The girl confirmed his words and said that he is a valuable player who has been playing since the launch. He's already played about 60 hours. Kaizing said that his first account linked to the device was lost and he could not get it back. Do they confirm this? The girl replied that it looked like he actually had two accounts. She thought that she had been warned about such players. She should have fallen for him. Kaizing asked with a smile. They say that three days after the launch, he found such a serious bug. Do they imagine what will happen if he posts this video on the forum? Suddenly, the director of the game's bug fix department intervened in the conversation and said that she was here to discuss compensation. She is very sorry that he encountered this bug. What does he want to receive as compensation? Kaizing replied that everything is very simple. He wants to get a second reward for defeating the boss. After these words, the system reported that he could now improve the quality of his skills three times. Kaizing smiled and thought, a divine artifact, as if it will give him such opportunities as improved skills. He upgraded Symbiosis to Rare and then to Legendary and the system said that if his target is broken, he can parasitize the victim's body and take control of it. The body he parasitizes gains the same amount of experience as he does. Gluttony upgraded to legendary level. Skills absorbed by gluttony can continue to be used. Gluttony's growth is activated. The growth is currently 0 out of 2. Kaizing thought height. So is there a level higher than legendary? It turns out that Tang Hua gave him false information. Okay, he'll see what the ninth one came up with. Has the legendary artifact really disappeared? 
The system reported that he had received the Ant Flame Hope Fang weapon. He received Ant Flame Hope Cloak, Ant Flame Hope Helmet, Chestplate, High Quality Ant Queen Crystal Core. He also received 200 gold, a Soldier Ant Sword, a Soldier Ant Helmet, and Soldier Ant Leggings. Next reward is unknown. Kaizing looked at the unknown reward and thought, Is this a legendary fact? What is this anyway? In front of him he saw bones with an unknown name, quality, and effects. He took it and thought it was definitely a hand. Some strange divine artifact? He does not know. He tried to hit the ant and said that it did no damage. He needs to find an appraiser. He went into the game menu and thought that he would ask Tang Hua about it. He doesn't think that he changed his nickname. The system reported that he was calling an arrogant nugget. Tang Hua, who was in Kingshi Village, received the video call and asked, Is it him, Kai Zing? He doesn't see it. Why is it so dark? Kai Zing replied that he, he had just killed a level 10 boss. Cool, right? Tang Hua replied that he knew that he had not lost his touch. The blinding sun barely felled the level 30 demonic bull. Did he record the fight? He can make him a promotional video saying that the seven stars reached the ancient gods. Kai Zing replied that he did not need it. He did not want to glow yet. He thought that if his enemies found out what condition he was in, they would simply attack him. He said that he had picked up something interesting, let him give him the coordinates of the appraiser, and also let him send information about changing classes. Tang Hua replied that he understood, everything will be done now, just let him give him 10 minutes. Suddenly Kai Zing noticed something behind his friend and told him about it. Tang Hua asked from behind, is there something wrong? There is only a huge stone. Kai Zing said that he should turn his face to the stone. Tang Hua turned around and Kai Zing told him to go forward now. Let him not turn anywhere. Tang Hua continued walking and asked what was wrong with this stone. Did he notice something? He approached the girl and Kai Zing told him to stop, let him lower his head. Tang Hua lowered his head and Kai Zing said that's great, let him stand like that. At Kai Zing's direction, Tang Hua buried his face directly into the girl's chest, but he noticed it too late. He looked up at her in surprise and she looked back at him indignantly. After that, Tang Hua's screams were heard and the system reported that the current conversation was over. After that, Kai Zeng thought that now he would go to identify this artifact and it was time for him to change class. Suddenly, he remembered that it seemed that before the dungeon he received some kind of quest. He looked at the quest item in his inventory and the system reported the progress of the boy's story quest. Quest progress 0%, the village chief knows something about the boy, let him go to him. He will give what he needs. Hint, he received the quest item, Boy's Dagger. He took out the boy's dagger and thought that before entering the dungeon, he received this dagger and had to go to the headman. But in the end, he decided to clear the dungeon. Will this affect the plot? He went to the exit and thought that usually in such quests, there are several plot branches. While he was walking behind him, a boy with a blank look appeared and began to slowly approach him. Kai Zing sensed this and turned around sharply, deciding to use a 7-star combo, but at the same moment the boy pierced his body and took away his dagger. Kai Zing fell to the ground and the boy walked several meters away from him. He buried the dagger in the ground and then disappeared. Meanwhile, Kai Zing was lying on the ground with zero health and thought that he was killed according to the plot. Lucky he has the heart of a brave man. He was resurrected with full health using this item and checked the status of the quest. The system reported that the progress of the boy's story quest had reached 50%. He met a boy. How did he become like this? Can someone save him? Hint. Maybe his master knows something. The map shows where his master lies. Kai Zing was delighted and said that as he said, the second branch of the quest has appeared. If he had not entered the dungeon and gone to the headman, then this would have been the first branch. And the second branch means that he needs to enter the dungeon, meet the boy, die and lose the dagger, and then go to his master. He noticed a mound of earth and said that he saw that he had hidden his dagger here. If he takes the dagger back, then he can complete all the branches, right? He laughed, and at that time the boy watched him from the cliff. Kai Zing took the dagger and the system reported that he had received the boy's dagger. Kai Zing looked around and thought, he won't be killed again. Making sure that there was no one around, he laughed and said that he thought so. And now he will absorb the queen's skill and go to Tang Hua. He launched tentacles into the queen's head. The system reported that the skill was not activated. Kai Zing looked into his inventory and thought that apparently all the essence was in the pet egg. 
A system window appeared in front of him, which showed more detailed information about the egg. Name, Mutated Fire Ant Queen, level 600 class. This is a guild pet egg. After choosing a base, it can spawn a tribe. Kaizing headed towards the exit of the cave and thought that he should go to Tang Hua, and he also needed to sell his extra things. Kaizing walked out of the forest and thought about walking so slowly with his feet. Where is there any monster so that it can parasitize on it? He looked up and suddenly noticed a bright flash. Then this bright flash of flame hit the ground next to him, and Kaizing exclaimed, Who is here? He turned around and saw a player with a staff. The player pointed a staff at him and asked, Can he talk? Is this an advanced monster? Kaizing sighed and asked, Did he mistake him for an ordinary monster? The player said that he also understands that he is unusual. He has the ultra-rare monster trainer class. Let him become his pet. They will travel together. He thought it was a high-level creature that could speak. He's about level 500, and if he can tame him. Kaizing replied that he was a player like him. Let him find another monster. The player was delighted and asked, Can he lie? Now that's intelligence. What level is he? 700 or 800? Kaizing got angry and asked, Is he talking to the wall? He turned around and said, Let him go to hell, you idiot. But the player conjured fireballs and attacked him, asking if he let him go. Kaizing started yelling about how hot he was and took out the honey, and then he turned around and asked the player, Is he stupid or what? Does he not understand human speech? The player tussed displeasedly and said that he was trying to negotiate with him. He'll have to beat him half to death, and that's a waste of time. Suddenly, it was as if a switch had been flipped in Kaizing's head, and he looked at the player menacingly. Then he sat down on his tentacles and looked at the sky and said that he just wanted to play quietly and earn money. The player asked, is that all? He doesn't want to run away anymore? He accepted his fate, it's a trap. But at the same moment, a sharp blade pierced the player's head and Kaizing killed him, exclaiming, why is someone always bothering him? He killed the player using a sword called the Antflame Hope Fang. This sword adds 75% to strength in battle, and additional fire and poison damage inflicts the effect of ignition and poisoning for 360 seconds. Other players ran up to their friend and called him Ryuo. They saw Kai Zing, who was about to leave, and the guy told the others that let them stand for him. Let Lan Guo resurrect Ruo, and let Ziang attack with magic from afar. Battle cry. Warriors thrust. He attacked Kai Zing, and he turned around, saying that it was him. He realized that this was the same guy who cheated him out of money and said that this was great. He was not going to look for him, but he found him himself. He extended his tentacles and parasitized on Ruo, thereby dodging the guy's blow. He then jumped towards the girl and said that he had a new skill. Let her let him show it. He grabbed her with tentacles in order to use the symbiosis skill, and she asked him not to do it. The tentacles continued to slide over her body, and she told him to stop. Her cheeks turned red, and she said that this is so strange, let him stop. The guy in Kaizing looked at her in surprise, and then Kaizing opened the information about the symbiosis skill and read that the target falls under the test of will and becomes completely controlled if the test fails. The main body and the symbiont share experience points. Kaizing cursed and said that now he understood how to pass the test of will. He continued to restrain the girl with his tentacles and said that a little more. He can break her. The guy said that she never behaved like that with him. Kaizing turned around and mockingly said that then he should think about what he was doing wrong. The guy got angry and told him to let her go. He attacked Kaizing, but he jumped to the side and approached the girl, and then joined her head and used the symbiosis skill. The system reported that the symbiosis was successfully completed. Now he can increase the level together with the Mountain Valley Orchid player. The guy called out to his girlfriend, but Kai Zing had already taken possession of her body and looked at the guy with a smile. The guy asked, is she okay? Kai Zing approached him and used the seven stars strike, Heaven's Fist. He hit the guy in the face and took off several units of his health. Then he ran to the side and grabbed the staff. The guy began to fall down and Kai Zing swung his staff and then hit the guy with a seven star move, a home run. He hit him on the back and smiled and then said it was so invigorating. After symbiosis, he can use all the attributes and skills of this body. He opened the characteristics window and found out that the player Orchid Mountain Valley is at level 10, race human, race value 33. Life class, high magical life. Intelligence 12, durability 5, agility 3, strength 1, health 5, charisma 7. Specialization priest, no occupation or title. Has a resurrection skill. In a non-combat state, 
a player with this skill can resurrect a dead player. With the Divine Light Healing skill, the player can control Divine Light to heal a creature. Kaizing thought that when using the Seven Stars Blade, the strength value of the jellyfish's body is used, and the attributes are added. If he could use Symbiosis on his first super account, then no one would be stronger than him. He turned to the guy and said that he would allow him to ask one question. He didn't stand in line for his gaming helmet, right? The guy did not answer and exclaimed, Who is he, in the end, a monster or a player? Kaizing shouted that let him answer him. The guy rose to his feet and replied that he had found a small huckster. He stood in line for him, and he did not pay him a penny more. He's a businessman. How can he waste his time and energy? And the energy that he would have wasted standing in line went to pumping. Now he's among the top 1,000 players on the server. He is a player with a special race. He sees that he is quite strong. He will pay him and hire him. How does he like this offer? Kaizing asked with a smile, how much can he offer him? The guy hugged him and said that everything depended on him. If he didn't kill as many monsters as they had already killed, then the price would be low. He is strong. He can afford to pay him 100 gold per hour. He who works hard gets more. Kaizing remembered this guy, saying that he believed that he could definitely handle it. Money is not the problem. After that, Kaizing healed the guy with divine light, and he asked, does he agree? Then, from that moment on, he must obey his orders. First, let him show him his skills and attributes. Kaizing smiled, and then held the staff in his hand and agreed. After that, he hit him with the staff and healed him. Then he hit him again and healed him. This continued several more times, and Kaizing used the symbiosis skill on the guy. He began to control the body and examined the equipment. Meanwhile, his girlfriend was finally able to control her body and Kaizing undressed the guy and threw all the items on the ground, and then he said that he would take it all for himself. The system reported that he received the Order of the Divine Knight, a broken sword, strong armor, tree demon leggings, tree man branch, healing potion ten pieces, gray stone, fluorite, blue heart grass. He received many items, but he was interested in the Order of the Divine Knight. This is a rare item that gives a bonus to combat power of 70% and melee damage plus 30%. Skills, Decree of the Divine Knight. When equipped, he acquires the Knight class, Divine Knight. 10% is added to all attributes of the Knight class. Second skill, Divine Choice. The player can choose a mount. While mounted, his character's attributes overlap those of his mount. Kaizing laughed and asked if he could become a knight. He cancelled the symbiosis and told the group of players that they were now even. He will leave him a pair of underpants. Well, isn't he wonderful? He looked threateningly at the guy's girlfriend and said that the main culprit had been punished, but his accomplice still needed to pay his debt. He used symbiosis on her and told her that she didn't need to be afraid of him. He was still a good guy. She began to beg for mercy, but Kai Zing still used symbiosis and shook off the dust from her hands. He looked at the guy and said that he would put a little cap on his girlfriend and borrow her body. A generous person like him wouldn't even mind, right? Why does he feel like he's missing someone? Oh well, it doesn't matter. He called Tang Hua and he accepted the call while he was running away from someone. He asked, is he looking for him? Kai Zing asked, are they chasing him? Tang Hua exclaimed in response, is it because of him? Suddenly an arrow flew over his head and Tang Hua asked Kai Zing to help him. The girl who was chasing him pulled three arrows at once and shot at Tang Hua. He screamed in pain and drank a healing potion, and then turned around and asked, Is she still chasing? Still? Well, she's a fury. Who dares to marry her? The girl got angry and said that he should repeat what he said. He will stop right now, and she will tear his tongue into pieces. She shot him again, and Tang Hua told Kai Zing that he had seriously set him up. This woman has been wielding a divine artifact bow since the beginning of the game. She can fire three arrows at a time. Kaizing smiled and told him to stop pretending. They know each other very well, so let him start having fun already. Where is the information he needs? Tang Hua replied that the map of Kingshi Village and the position of the desired NPC had been sent to him. He hid behind a stone and said that the little magician had just approached Perosius, the one who was third in rank, and said that she had found a first-class magic pet that could control people. Coordinate 777. 443. He took a hundred of his people on this pet. The blinding sun also went there. He is also going to trick this girl into joining in the fun. Kaizing told him to forget about it. He was stuck at level 10 for a long time. Changing class is more important now. And this pet's skills will not necessarily be better than his. He ended the call and said that pumping is preferable for him now. 
but he will look at the coordinates of this place in order to stay away from it and not be distracted from the class change mission. He opened the map and saw that he was at the same coordinates and realized that the magic pet that controls people was him. Meanwhile, Zhang Lingyao walked through the forest and smiled when he saw the girl. He called Kai Zing a beauty and greeted her. Kai Zing realized who was standing behind him and turned around, greeting the blinding sun. Zhang Lingyao asked, does she know him? He thought that he really shouldn't wear a helmet. As soon as he took it off, his popularity began to grow. He smiled and said that he was easy to recognize. He wanted to hug Kai Zing, but he dodged it and said that let him respect the female players. Zhang Lingyao got angry and asked, is she rejecting his favor? He pointed his sword at Kai Zing and asked, where is this monster? If she says she doesn't know, then let her prepare for death. Kai Zing replied that of course he knows. It attacked his party members, after which it ran away in that direction. He pointed behind Zhang Lingyao, and he walked in that direction, saying that she could live a little longer. Then he will catch this monster, and then deal with her. The system informed Kai Zing that he had successfully equipped the Ant Tribe's Blade of Hope. Bonus to combat power 75%, additional fire and poison damage. The target is inflicted with burning and poisoning conditions for 360 seconds. Kai Zing began to approach Zhang Lingyao's back and thought that since they happened to meet, he would find out what he was capable of. He prepared for the rush and thought that he was relying on his account to take second place in the top, but he still wasn't. He wanted to attack, but suddenly he began to fall and thought, why is his upper body so heavy? At this moment, Zhang Lingyao turned around and said that she was deceiving him. At that same second, a sharp blade approached his neck and wounded him. Kai Zeng became worried and Zhang Lingyao began to fall. He took out his weapon and said that she was finished. Kai Zing's blow did not take away even half of Zhang Lingyao's health, and he thought, did it take away so little of his health? Burning and poisoning have no effect at all. He gritted his teeth and then rushed at Zhang Lingyao again and attacked, but he reacted and blocked his attack. From the clash of swords, Kai Zing recoiled back and thought that this is power. Is this a super account? He smiled and then spun in place for a larger swing and attacked Zhang Lingyao, knocking the sword out of his hand. The sword flew into the air and Kai Zing disconnected from the girl's body and then used parasitism on Zhang Lingyao, but it didn't work and he said that he knew it wouldn't work. He was thrown up and grabbed the sword, saying that this was enough to move. He took the sword for himself and then used parasitism on the guy and Zhang Lingyao looked in his direction. Kai Zing ran away in the guy's body and Zhang Lingyao looked after him in shock. He looked down at his hand and then looked back at Kai Zing and said in shock that he had just been fooled. Meanwhile, the girl reported on what had happened. She said that this is a very rare and unique race. It activates the skill by touching the player's heads with its tentacles. As soon as he touches someone's head, he has complete control over the body. That's all she saw. Perosius asked, after the blinding sun was defeated, why didn't she fight him? With her fighting skills, she would definitely be able to catch him. She replied that the blinding sun still ranks second in the top. A direct collision with it could affect the course of his mission. She hired a professional gambler to track down this jellyfish. Perosius said that this is very good. This is her reward. He gave her frost armor, which adds 45% to her defense as a bonus and adds 100 units to her resistance to cold damage. He also gave her the frost dragon shield, a 60% defense bonus. The additional skill ice strike deals damage and has a 30% chance of freezing the enemy. The girl thanked him and he said that she should change her equipment here. She looked at him with wide eyes and he said that he would cut her interest in half this week. She looked away and then began to undress, turning her back to him. Perosius enjoyed the spectacle and said that it was not bad. This game is very unusual, with unlimited content and potential. Let her obey him, let her believe in her strength, and she will very quickly be able to pay off her debts. Meanwhile, the players arrived at the coordinates where Kai Zing should be and began to look for him. Someone said there's nothing here, let them check there. The players began to climb through the bushes, and one of them came across a monster fish, which grabbed his head with its teeth. He started shouting that he had met a monster, let them help him. The players immediately rushed to his aid and asked where the monster was. The player saw the fish and said that this is not the monster they are looking for. Let him kill it himself. The guy screamed that he was going to die. Meanwhile, Kai Zing sat on a tree branch and looked at the weapon, giggling. The system window showed him the properties of the sunset blade, and Kai Zing saw that it was a growth artifact, a bonus to combat power of 100%.
skills, growing desire. During the battle, there is a chance to master the skill of using another type of weapon. Hardening. During an attack, fire damage is added to the main damage. Impact mitigation. Damage absorption by 20%. Counterattack. Reflect damage by 10%. Fiery Aura. When attacked, there is a 30% chance that the player can damage the enemy with a fire spell corresponding to the player's level. Kaizing became indignant and began to insult Zhang Lingyao and asked what he did with his precious blade. This is unforgivable, simply unforgivable. It was a perfect artifact that could learn skills. Why did he pump this into defense? He's just mad. Suddenly a thought occurred to him, and he called upon Gluttony. Gluttony appeared in front of him and Kai Zing, removing the useless skills from the blade, told Gluttony to eat them. In this case, let it retain these skills for the time being. Gluttony ate the skills and Kai Zing said that it might come back. Gluttony looked at Kai Zing upset and he asked why it was looking at him like that. It must be because of the fiery aura. Suddenly one of the players shouted that he was there. He found him. He's at the top of the tree. The player used a lightning strike and at the same second lightning struck Kai Zing and he began to run away from them. The players rushed after him, and one of them told them not to let him escape. Let them catch him quickly. One of the players asked what it was. This time they found it in just five minutes. The guy said let them surround him, they need to keep him under control. They used all their skills, and one of the players used a tackle. Another player asked who used the grab. They will beat him first. They need to wait for the master, he will catch him himself. Kaizing extended his tentacles towards the girl, and wanted to use parasitism, but she used a halo of resistance and threw Kai Zing away. He flew into the air, and she said she made him fly a little. Let them use their skills and control him while he's in the sky. Kai Zing said that he had fooled them. It was his tactical retreat. He used the parasitism skill, and the player who had just dealt with the monster fish wiped the sweat from his forehead, and at the same moment Kai Zing parasitized on this fish. He started running, and the guy looked at him in surprise, spitting saliva. Kaizing turned around and said he was leaving. But after he changes class, he will no longer run away from them. But at the same moment, an arrow from a girl who was chasing Tang Hua pierced the fish. Tang Hua smiled, and she extended her hand to the side, stopping him. Kaizing looked annoyed at his friend, and said that of course he was the one joining in the fun. He detached himself from the fish, and jumped straight into Tang Hua's arms, and said that he was using parasitism. At that same second, Kai Zing disappeared and Tang Hua looked at his hands in surprise. He then looked up at the other players and asked if he said he had no idea what happened, would they believe him? At this time, Kai Zing teleported to the cave and looked at the ring and said that he was glad that he had it. In his hand he held the Wanderer's Evasion Ring. This is a divine artifact that allows the player to teleport three times a day to a place he has already been to. Kaizing raised his hands and then took off his VR helmet and left the game. He looked at Tang Hua, who was sitting next to him in the gaming chair, and said that now he will get it from him. Meanwhile, Tang Hua ran away from the players and carried the girl in his arms. She said let him let her go. She pinched his cheek and told him to put her down. Tang Hua replied that he wouldn't even think about it. If he lets her go, she will immediately ride off on her horse. The players ran after them, and one of them said that they were returning to the village. There was a safe zone there. Let them quickly send someone to the village to stop them. The girl exclaimed that she had nothing to do with this at all. It was he who caught the magic pet. Tang Hua replied that he had already said that he had not caught the pet. He doesn't know anything. But suddenly, he was thrown out of the game and saw Kai Zing in front of him, who opened the lid of his gaming chair. At this time, the girl in the game fell to the ground and said that if only she would come across him again. Tang Hua was happy to quit the game and told Kai Zing that he was so grateful. Kai Zing grabbed him by the clothes and then started shaking him and said that he was stupid. How dare he team up with some crooks and surround him? Tang Hua asked in surprise, so that jellyfish is him. It's too weird. Although if you think so, he hasn't seen his game avatar. Kai Zing sat on the bed and said that he had been trapped in a dungeon since the beginning of the game. What's going on now? Tang Hua became worried and said that this time he had completely messed up, so it was better for them to stop communicating for a while. Kai Zing started shaking him again and said let him explain already. Tang Hua replied what he would say now. Piracia has a quest, the path to becoming a god. It is a chain of tasks given by the earth goddess. The quest itself consists of 50 parts. Each time he completes one of the parts of the quest, he has a chance to evolve or receive a powerful item. Kai Zing thought about it and said that it seems that he also has, that is, there was such a quest. 
This is the first time he has heard about clues from a god-level NPC. Does she belong to the Western gods? What does this have to do with him? Tang Hua replied that Perosius had not yet completed the last boss, the Fire Ant Queen, but he had already defeated it. Kaizing asked what he would say. Having just appeared in the world, he also had no desire to fight the boss. Tang Hua said that less than 70 hours had passed since the server launched, he had put in a lot of effort to become third in the top, and he had also defeated three bosses. But who knew that he would come across such a pervert like him? Kaizing replied that it is, that is. He spent almost 60 hours in that anthill. Tang Hua said that in general, the earth goddess was angry. She ordered Perosius to catch him and bring him to her. One little magician reported that she was attacked by some unknown creature. Perosius, through an unknown method, immediately reached him. Kaizing said that they need to meet him. They will hope to resolve this misunderstanding. They won't push you, but they will also make it clear that they are not timid. But if he resorts to force, they will know what the name Seven Stars means. Tang Hua said that it doesn't sound scary at all. Kaizing began to shake him and told him to enter the game quickly. He will send him his coordinates, and he will take him to the tree where he can change class. Tang Hua agreed, and after that, Kaizing entered the game, and the system welcomed the seven stars into the ancient gods. Kaizing thought that before leaving, he should grab more equipment to sell. After that, Kaizing and Tang Hua met at the appointed place, and Tang Hua told his friend that he was here. There was a mark left on his cheek from the girl's hand, and Kaizing, seeing her, asked what was happening here. The girl looked at Tang Hua and asked, Did he say that he didn't catch him? Kaizing got angry and said that she should be more respectful, he is a player. Tang Hua whispered to his friend that they had already killed her once, causing her to lose a level. Now they are enemies, they cannot get rid of her. Kaizing replied that everything was fine, she was just in time. Would she mind borrowing her body for a little while? After that, he wrapped his tentacles around her entire body and used symbiosis. From such a sight, Tang Hua's eyes flew out of their sockets and Kai Zing successfully captured the girl's body, saying that he should not look at him like that. After the merger, the attributes became so strong. He looked at his friend and asked, what was wrong with his face? Tang Hua replied that he actually wanted to develop a relationship with her, but don't worry, it's okay as long as he's happy now. They took out the travel scrolls and moved to Qingxi village. They immediately appeared at the class change department, and the system asked Kai Zing, Does he confirm that he wants to change class tonight? Kai Zing confirmed this, and the NPC said that he should pay a commission of 100 gold, 200 gold for the war horse, and 250 gold for the knight's equipment. Kai Zing asked if he could only pay the commission. NPC replied that a knight without a horse and armor is not a knight. But so be it, he can return for his horse and equipment later. The system congratulated Kai Zing. He chose the knight class. His experience points will be used to level up. He reached level 12. As a result, Kai Zing reached level 17 and his 550 zlotys were reduced. Kai Zing started crying over the loss of money and said that the equipment was still not showing up. Well, that sucks. He called out to his friend and said that they had to go. Let him help him sell the junk from his inventory. Suddenly, an old man came up to him and said that he had a scroll that would allow him to change class. Doesn't he need it? It will cost him only 1,000 gold. Tang Hua said to Kai Zing, this NPC is a scammer. Many players buy this and then find that the scroll is covered in question marks and there is no way to use it. Kai Zing said that he was buying it. Let him lend him 300 gold. Tang Hua was surprised and exclaimed, why didn't he just pass by? Kai Zing told him to be faster. Kai Zing bought the scroll, and the old man said that everyone who receives this scroll is blessed by the gods. Whoever manages to use this is capable of becoming a god himself. He got lucky. The system window did not display any information about the scroll. Everything was in question marks. Is Kai Zing lucky? This is the decision he will regret most in his life. But it was destined to be so, and the decision is irreversible. Meanwhile, Perosius appeared to the goddess. She ordered him to kneel down but he did not listen to her and said that he had brought the items that he received for completing four quests. Only the boy's dagger is missing. The goddess said that when the gods speak, he should kneel. A powerful force enveloped Perosius' body, and he said that she was just an NPC. How dare she? Suddenly, he heard a crunch and looked down at his hand, seeing that it had turned to stone. He got scared and told the goddess to let him go. She asked, perhaps he, a non-entity, wants to see the mighty power of God. A face began to form from the stones, and the goddess said that he had committed a serious crime. 
A huge stone face towered over Perosius, and he exclaimed, What the hell? The stone face began to speak through the mouth of the goddess. She said that he was just an adventurer. She only had to blow to destroy him. Perosius was afraid, and then knelt down and said that he was wrong. Let her let him go. He will complete the quest as soon as possible. He clenched his teeth and thought that the game had just begun. He would still have time to take revenge on her for this. The goddess replied that she would turn a blind eye to his disrespect and would not punish him, but she would reward him. The stone on his hand cracked, and she said that from the depths of the earth she had extracted hundreds of types of ore, among which were minerals of the source of life, dragon blood crystals, and fossils of wild animals. This is an unfinished artifact, the stone fruit of the Nine Keys. It has a level of 999. The artifact fell on Perosius's hand, and immediately after that a long corridor appeared behind it, and the goddess said that once living, but now dead creatures became part of this stone. They turn to stone, and from stone they will be reborn for a new life. Because life is cyclical. Let him follow the stone, it will guide him on the right path. Let him get the blood of a monkey, let the stone absorb it, become a demigod, raise the level to 1000, and then it will become his assistant. And now let him go, let him bring him a jellyfish and a dagger. Perosius was delighted with the reward and said that it should be worth at least 500,000. What a stupid goddess, a level 1000 demigod, how much can it cost? 1 million, or maybe 2000,000. No, he doesn't need money. The main thing is that it will help him rise to the top. He used incubation, and after that the stone had a muzzle and paws. The system window reported that this is a nine keys stone fruit, life class, high magic life. Race value 59. Earth element skills. The earth spirit can learn all skills related to controlling the earth element. The success of using the earth skill plus 50%. Changeling. The spirit of the earth is able to arbitrarily change its form. Life change. The spirit of the earth connects with a life essence of the target. It can be upgraded to the beginning of life class. The stone spirit ran forward and Perosius said that the great goddess can be calm. He will instantly catch the jellyfish and bring her a dagger. He called out to the icicle and told her to send 500 people from the detachment. Let them ambush the jellyfish. Let her bring three more to him and then follow him. The icicle answered that everything would be fine. Meanwhile, Kai Zing and his friend were in Kingxi village. Kai Zing asked the NPC, Are these two items included? Can he tell me how to use them? The old man extended his hand and said that only 1,000 gold, and he would get the answer to his questions. Tang Hua began to pull his friend by the hand and told him to go already. They had already been fooled. But Kai Zing was stronger and said that he should transfer him another 1,000, or he would tell this girl that he touched her hand. Tang Hua said upset that he was warning him from the bottom of his heart. And he, in the end, he transferred 1,000 gold to Kai Zing, and he showed the scroll to the NPC. The NPC said that this is a class change scroll and an important item for a wanderer. A wanderer is a hermit who helps God, and in the name of God, they travel around the world. Artifacts, legendary skills, and super level, divine power is hidden in all of this. He will replace the divine power with the power of another god, and then he will be able to change class. After that, the old man disappeared. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the sea, someone said that he had returned. The old man sat on a huge tentacle and said that the request of the king of Ash had been fulfilled. He hopes the boy will get over it quickly. The jellyfish replied that this is not the point, time is on their side. At this time, Kai Zing and Tang Hua looked at the place where the old man had just been and Tang Hua told his friend that he said he was deceived. It would be better if he spent the money to learn a skill like turning into sand and disappearing. Kai Zing thought that it is not so simple. This is a strange game. But if he can study it and figure it out, then perhaps he can understand the mechanics of the game itself. He suggested to Tang Hua to go. They will deal with their own affairs first. They need to sell the equipment. They came to the merchant, and the woman said that eight pieces of ordinary equipment, seven of good quality, some material from monsters, comes out to 11,000 gold. Kaizing came out from the merchant with a huge bag of money and said that it was all his money. He had never held so much money before. Tang Hua hit him on the head and told him to repay the debt. Kaizing gave him an egg and said that he still has a magical pet egg here. Let him take it. The rank is not very high. The maximum level is 600 but this is what you need to start the game. Tang Hua asked, did this fall from the Ant Queen? How much does he think it's worth? Kai Zing asked, how much is it? Well, this one is only level 600. On his previous account, there was a level 1000 dragon pet. 
Tang Hua said that there are not many races with reproductive ability, only they have the ability to gather a group of magical pets. Once they choose a location, they can mine metals, gather plants, and search for resources on their own. And they can also form a training ground. But normal pet groups have a maximum rank of 400, and he has 600. This is most likely a mutation. And also, this is most likely an insect species with enormous evolutionary potential. Kaizing said that it sounds like it costs a lot of money. Tang Hua exclaimed, a lot. At least 1,000,000. ,000. It multiplies, they sell. He returned the egg to him and said that he should keep it. They will form a group and the gold will be divided equally. Kaizing just stood silently and comprehended what was happening, and his friend thought that he remained unperturbed after finding out how much it cost. Now he understands why he is the leader among them. He's even a little ashamed now. After this, Kaizing exclaimed in shock, 1,000,000. 1,000, 10 yen, 100,000, and 1 million. Is this 1 million? Tang Hua said that his chicken brain was simply overloaded. Kaizing said that he is taking away this egg. Nothing like that. He just loves ants. In elementary school biology class, the ants he raised were the strongest. If he received the egg of a magical pet, then it must certainly be an ant. Tang Hua agreed and replied that this was without any doubt his pet. Kaizing did not agree and said that in addition to this egg and that dagger, there was also a reward for the quest, all of which should have gone to Perosius. Tang Hua attacked him and said that this is 1,000,000. He can't just give it away. Kaizing asked, give it back. Will he dare to raise his sword against him, the first in this game? Does he think this will end well for him? If he wants to return it, he will have to pay twice as much. He disconnected from the girl and said that he wanted to talk to Perosius. Let the two of them go raise their level. Tang Hua looked at the departing Kai Zing and said that he is a worthy leader. Even when fighting monsters, he does his job cheerfully and tastefully. The girl woke up and scratched her head and asked if she had just been to the anthill. When did she manage to return to Qingxi village? Meanwhile, Kai Zing took out the knight's order and said that he could finally wear it. The knight class will definitely make him stronger. As for the wanderer, he will still have the opportunity to learn more about him. He donned the Order of the Divine Knight, and the system reported that his knight skills were upgraded to those of the Divine Knight. Horse riding has evolved into divine riding. The speed of the mount increases by 30%. The cavalryman's blow has grown into a god's blow. Now this skill throws the target in front of him 3 meters and stuns for 3 seconds. The jump skill, where a player riding their mount can jump three times further, has evolved into a divine instant. Riding his steed, he can teleport to any location within a 10 meter radius. The spirit of chivalry, which gives resistance to control effects, has grown into the spirit of God, which gives immunity to control effects. The taming skill by which the player can use monsters as a mount has evolved into a divine requirement. He can force a living creature whose level is lower than him to become his mount for an hour. Kaizing was delighted by the power of this class and decided to summon a war horse. A decrepit horse appeared in front of him, and Kaizing exclaimed that this was robbery. 200 gold for this. He mounted the horse, which sagged under his small weight, and thought that he would try it his way. He used symbiosis on the horse and decided to separate the attributes. First let the jellyfish's attributes become the horse's attributes. Although this race has a value of 10 points, the horse's attributes are more balanced and ordinary. Then let the divine choice be activated, let the attributes come together. The jellyfish's attributes will become the horse's attributes, and they will receive double the horse's attributes. And finally, he will add the divine knight's decree to the seven stars combo, and he will gain enormous power from the Medusa. In addition, the effect of the divine decree is summed up, which increases all attributes by 10%, which leads to an additional 36 points. After all the calculations and improvements, the horse became stronger, and Kai Zing rushed on it to the exit of the village, saying that the value of the human race is 30 points. Now he is no worse than those who have especially powerful races. He will deal with Perosius and then immediately head towards the blinding sun. It's time for him to get his body back in this game. Suddenly, he noticed a huge crowd at the exit from the village and hid. But the players noticed him and said that he had come out, let them catch him. Kaizing appeared to them and asked, so they are here looking for him, right? A huge crowd of people surrounded Kaizing on all sides and someone shouted, does he know how much trouble he is in? Someone threw a stone at him and said that he should give up all the loot from the Ant Queen. They will quickly lower him to level zero. Another player exclaimed that let them look at him, no shame or conscience at all. Let him get off his horse, now they will judge him. 
Kai Zing asked, are they all from the Piracea gang? Then let them take him to their master. Some player approached him and called him by his game nickname and said that he had not seen him for several days. How is he? Suddenly, he suddenly became angry and said that in the previous game, it was because of him that his squad failed the siege of the city. Does he know how much money he lost? Kai Zing tilted his head to the side and asked, Who is he anyway? Somehow he doesn't remember it. He defames others. He should be ashamed. He actually came here with pure intentions. He was hoping to talk with Perosius. The player pointed his finger at him and exclaimed, Does he want to talk? Who is he to talk to? Their master has received the favor of the Earth Goddess herself, and he will soon change his class to the Divine Wanderer. And then he will become a prominent figure in this game. What about him? They see that he has a primitive race worth only 10 points. He took out his weapon and said that it didn't matter what bugs he caught to defeat the Ant Queen. As he sees, today there will be more of them, so he has nowhere to run. Kaizing sighed and asked if he understood correctly that this is what Perosius wants. The player mockingly asked, what problems? Did he think they would chat with him here? Kaizing called out to him and said that let him say how many there are. The player asked how many there are. Was he scared or what? Kaizing replied that this way he would simply immediately understand how many people he would kill now. Meanwhile, Perosius and Iceman followed the spirit of the stone, and he said that this baby monkey possesses the essence of blood close to the blood of demigods. The cub is easier to intimidate. Perosius looked at the fire monkey and asked why they got to it in a roundabout way. The spirit of the earth replied that this was a demigod, and they should not go ahead until he perfected it. Perosius asked why this orangutan was lying in the same position as the earth goddess. Suddenly, he received a message and exclaimed, Has the jellyfish shown up? First, he must catch the jellyfish. He called the spirit of the earth a stone and said that he should use the shapeshifter skill and turn into it. Let the ice cream stay here. She bowed slightly to him, and he said that he wants the jellyfish to finally understand that no one dares to cross his path. Meanwhile, the blinding sun thrust his sword into the ground and asked, What is it that just ran through? He is level 26 and was able to equip a level 200 blue sword. He is sure that it will not be difficult for him to deal with the level 10 boss either. From the very beginning, the great weapon's master skill allowed him to immediately master any type of weapon, but then how could his amazing artifact be stolen so easily? He needs to call tech support. Suddenly Kai Xiaoman came up to him and said that she was just looking for him. Zhang Lingyao called out to her in surprise and asked, Does she want him to become her pumping partner? Is this why she was looking for him? Kai Xiaoman was slightly surprised and then smiled and said that she wanted to see what he could do. He and her three bodyguards. Zhang Lingyao laughed and replied that he would do it with great pleasure. After that, he grabbed the sword and used the sun blazing sword technique. Hot flames engulfed the three bodyguards and Zhang Lingyao said that he dealt with them in just a second. Kai Xiaoman clapped and said that he was cool. They say that at the entrance to the village of Qingxi, there is a showdown with some kind of jellyfish. Doesn't he want to go and look? Zhang Lingyao got angry and asked again, jellyfish. Of course he will go. Meanwhile, Kai Xing rammed the player's horse's head using God Punch. The player told his comrades to listen to his commands. Let the mighty warriors with shields come forward. At that very second, Kai Xing used a divine moment and moved into the crowd of players and told the girls that he hoped the next time they met, they would be friends with them. The girls immediately turned in his direction and exclaimed that he had teleported to their rear. Kai Xing equipped the Sunset Blade and renamed it the Seven Stars Blade. The blade changed shape and Kai Xing used the Divine Supreme Food skill, saying that it was time to end this. A sword appeared in his hand and he rushed forward on his horse, hitting the players with a sharp blade. One of the players started begging for help and said that his damage was too high. Let the warriors stop him. The girl tried to use healing, but at that same second she was wounded by Kai Zing's sword and someone shouted that their priest had been killed. Suddenly a player appeared on the battlefield with his mounts and asked why scare ordinary players. A player with the nickname Cold Knife is on the ninth rating, his level is 19, his race is Demon, and his race value is 35. He has a Dark Knight class. Cold Knife rushed towards Kai Zing, and he prepared himself and used God Strike, repelling the attack. Cold Knife used chains, and Kai Zing was surprised, thinking, did he avoid the collision? Cold Knife said that by relying only on skills, he would not be able to experience the game itself. His physical abilities are also important here. The scythe in his hand disappeared. Then he jumped off the pillar and took out the scythe again, about to strike Kai Zing. 
Scythe's blade almost pierced Kai Zing, and he thought that he was a master. At the moment, the god hits, the skill rolls back, the delay is only one second, but he apparently managed to notice it. He first used the chain to cling to the pillar behind him, thereby avoiding being stunned by the blow. Then he put his weapon in his inventory, and then immediately equipped it. This allowed him not to make unnecessary movements. And finally, after a pause during the cooldown of the skill, he used an instant counterattack. He deserves to be called a master. At that same second, Cold Knife cut off the horse's head and Kai Zing was disconnected from the horse. Cold Knife said that let him remember that the one who killed him now is the ninth in the top. The Dark Dragon Knight is Cold Knife. The player said that's great, now let them listen to it. He pointed his finger at Kai Zing and told the archers and hunters to shoot him. Magicians, monks, let them cast control spells on him. Sorcerers, wizards, water priests, druids, and forest elves, may they restore his health. It is impossible for him to die and be transported to the city. God-level magicians should be ready to resurrect him immediately. Not a single spell hit Kai Zing, and he said that he was sorry, how sorry he was. The player asked, is he sorry? Does he think he has the ability to change the situation in his favor? He really enjoyed it while watching him get beaten. When the master comes, he will meet his death. Kai Zing took out the egg and said that he was sorry that now this egg could not be returned to Perosius or sold. Cold Knife began to worry and shouted to the others to stop him. Kai Zing hugged the egg and said that it was his 1,000 thousand. Senior brother would have to delay a little to collect enough money for her treatment. He touched the egg and used divine demand, symbiosis, divine writing. The hand broke through the shell of the egg and a creature began to crawl out. The egg cracked completely and a queen ant appeared, and then Kai Zing used symbiosis on her. All the players began to worry and Kai Zing said that they would ascend to the top of the gods together. He took over the ant queen's body and landed on the ground. He then walked towards the players and one of them told the others not to be afraid. He has a legendary skill from the beginning of the game Entangling Ray. He sent an entangling beam at Kai Zing, but he used the ability to reflect the blow and the entangling beam entangled the player. Kai Zing then rushed forward and said that by relying on this skill, the Ant Queen died 10 hours later than originally expected. He attacked the player with a sword, cutting his body into two halves. The system window showed information about the Fire Ant Queen. Life Class Advanced Magical Life Rank 600, Life Value 30 Level 17 Symbiosis Fire Ant Queen Skills From the Blood of Pan Wu Effect Unknown Impact Reflection When activated, the player cannot move, this skill reflects all skills that have damage lower than the player's attack power. Fire Resistance Immune to 50% of fire damage, taking fire damage may give the player a chance to learn a new skill. Poison Resistance Immune to 50% of damage from poison, when poisoned, the player gets a chance to learn a new skill. Soldier Ant Skin If the skill is active, the attributes of the Agile Combat form are applied, the attributes disappear after activating the Queen Ant Skin. Ant Queen Skin Once activated, the intelligence parameters change and the player receives the Ant Queen skill bar. The players saw that Kai Zing had cut the player's body and screamed in fear, and then Cold Knife summoned a bloody scythe and attacked Kai Zing. Kai Zing jumped up and said that he would come back for him later. He teleported into the crowd of players and began attacking everyone around him. The players started screaming in fear and saying that it was coming. The player told them not to panic, let them hold formation. Warriors forward. Kai Zing grabbed that player's head with his feet and said that although he doesn't remember who he is, he talks too much. He tore his head off and then grabbed it and wanted to throw it, but Cold Knife pounced on top of him and attacked. Kai Zing managed to dodge the blow and then jumped back and said that he had missed his chance. Cold Knife replied that if he did not have to wait for Perosius, he would have already cut him open with his scythe. It's not too late, he's just a fish on the cutting board. Kai Zing smiled and said that he should then let him enlighten him a little, otherwise he is such an expert that he does not see the difference. He is not a fish, but an ant. After that, Kai Zing disconnected from the body of the Ant Queen, and said that this body was not suitable for close combat, which he loved so much. He gives him this body, let him chop it up for his health. He used the parasitism skill on the fallen girl and Cold Knife attacked him, saying that he should not even think about it. But at that same second the Queen of Ants hit him in the back and he was stunned. Kai Zing took possession of the girl's body and said that it was considered a mount due to his divine request skill. But they can protect their master, he didn't know or what. 
He summoned gluttony and told it to devour all experience, let it keep the Shadow Clone. The system congratulated him on reaching level 18. He can use the Shadow Clone skill to create a clone under his control. The Shadow Clone's health is 10% of the main body. The clone has the same skills and attributes as the main body. The skill has been absorbed by Gluttony, he can save it and use it. Gluttony growth was activated. Gluttony got a third eye and Kai Zing used his Shadow Clone skill. Kai Zing's Shadow Clone jumped on the Ant Queen's head and said that he could switch between two sides of the view, he would play with him using only half of his thinking. Cold Knife recovered and asked how dare he look down on him. He attacked the Shadow Clown Kai Zing, and one of the players told the others that let someone support that guy with the scythe. All the priests let them buff him, let the sorcerers cast curses. The girl in armor happily walked forward, and the player called her name Zio Ling and asked, didn't she die a second ago? Kai Zing looked out from under Zio Ling's helmet and said that he thought they were strangers. The player was scared, and then Kai Zing attacked her and said that he just saw her from the sky. Great sorceress of the wild lands, the choice of choosing a battle priest was absolutely correct. He hasn't seen the skills in hundreds of people yet, but they will be very useful to him. The system reported that the skill was absorbed by gluttony, he can save it and use it. Gluttony growth was activated. He can use the Dance of Primal Wars skill, he needs to sacrifice 80% of his health to increase the agility, strength and durability of the selected target by 100%. Suddenly other players noticed that Kai Zing was parasitizing on the girl's body and said that he was here. Let them hit him with spells. The players began to attack him and Kai Zing shouted that he was hurt. One of the players shouted to his comrade that she was already dead anyway. Let him not stop. Kai Zing quickly disconnected from the girl's body and at that same second her body was enveloped in flames. Kai Zing used symbiosis on the ant queen's body and said that it was close. He ate white honey to restore his health and Cold Knife asked what kind of trick this was. Kai Zing used the Dance of Primitive Wars skill and said that if he died, it would only be from his coolness. Cold Knife got scared and said it wasn't fair. Kai Zing began to approach him and asked, isn't he number 9 in the top? If he doesn't want to lose it, then he'd better return to the city. He handed him a teleportation scroll and said that if this option did not suit him, then they would continue the battle. Let him think carefully, he gives him three seconds. Cold Knife became excited and Kai Zing began to count. Cold Knife grabbed the scroll and teleported away. Kai Zing was left alone with the players and continued the massacre. Meanwhile, Cold Knife sat on a rock and thought, is he a man? He controls two avatars, performs several tasks at the same time. Among hundreds of players with different skills, he definitely found the two he needed. The most nonsense race with a masterful combination of skills has become so incomprehensible. He counterattacked all the blows. Even while dodging, he found a way to parry attacks. If someone does not attack from an ambush, who is able to defeat him in a fair battle? No, he will definitely kill him faster than he can strike on the sly. He's a monster. He smiled and thought that if he considered him a monster, then everything would make sense. He wonders what he is like in reality, just as dashing and invincible. Meanwhile, the system congratulated Kai Zing for receiving the achievement. He dodged 100 attacks in a row and finished off his opponent. For this, he was rewarded with a legendary skill, let him experience it soon. The clear meteor skill, when used, ignores the attacks of his enemies and increases the power of his next attack by 100%. This skill can be used once per battle. He reached level 23. Perosius appeared behind Kai Zing riding a mammoth and asked, Is he finished? The Earth Goddess wants to see him, so he will go with him. Kai Zing said that he had finally waited for him. At first he wanted to talk to him alone, but now he sees that he can't count on that. Suddenly Zhang Lingyao came up to him with Kai Xiaomen and asked how did he like his blade, is it comfortable? He flexed his fists and said that he should give him back his blade, reset all his skills, kneel down, and then he would allow him to continue playing in the safe zone. Kai Xiaomen said that what he said is correct. Kai Zing was surprised to see her and thought, why is she here? Did she mistake Zhang Lingyao for him? Tang Hua said that Perosius was no worse than him, but Zhang Lingyao was still an idiot. Killed players will now be resurrected. If he stays, they will definitely bend him over. Zhang Lingyao said that he allowed him to say his last words. Once he's done with it, he's done with it. Kai Zing agreed and asked, but what should he say? He took out a sword and said that from today onwards he is invincible. Let him not try to pretend in front of him. Let him not try to take anything away from him. No, it's a fact. He doesn't need to talk about it. 
He rushed towards Zhang Lingyao and said that he would tell him to stay away from his dear Kai Xiaoman. It seemed that these words were heard by Kai Xiaoman. She remembered events that happened some time ago. The woman called out to Kai Xiaoman and said that she is now a celebrity. Let her just look at herself now. Kai Xiaoman lay bored on the sofa and looked at the phone screen. Her mother exclaimed, Does she have no bones? She can't sit normally. Stand to. Does she know why her eyes hurt? It's all because of her toys on the phone. Kai Xiaoman said that celebrities are people too. But don't people become stars to make life more comfortable? Her mother shouted, Did she grow wings behind her back? Has she learned to snap back? Since she's so cool now, that means there's no need to listen to her mother, right? Kai Xiaoman was scared and said that she understood her. She would go to her room and study. She entered the room and closed the door behind her, and then sat down and put her feet up on the table, saying that eight hours had already passed. He should have left his part-time job. She looked at her friend's list, where seven stars was. He was offline and had been online for seven days. A couple of hours passed. Night fell. Seven stars was still offline and Kai Xiaoman thought, did he quietly switch to another game? Every time he changed the game, he warned her in advance. He doesn't want to play with her anymore? Is she starting to bore him? Has she become a burden and is disturbing him? She threw the stuffed animal at the door and exclaimed, isn't he just a stinking gamer? Can she not play without him? Suddenly the voice of her angry mother was heard from behind the door. She shouted that it was late. Was she still awake? Doesn't she value her life? Kai Xiaoman replied that she was practicing dancing. After that, she lay down on the bed and thought, why be an idol? And what happens after? What do they all like about her? Fans shouted that she was so pure and charming, she was their first love. Another fan said that of course he loves her legs. But he quickly stopped short and said that he likes her singing and dancing. They make him feel alive. Another girl from Kai Xiaoman's fan base said that first of all, she will say that she doesn't like girls, but she has such an amazing figure. Kai Xiaoman remembered all these words from her fans and thought, but without this perfect body, what will she be left with? Can she continue to shine in the virtual world? Her mind, her soul, her spirit. Will she be recognized there? They should, because she is so wonderful, so radiant. She remembered how she was playing a game and the monster sent a stream of fire at her. Seven Stars, who was sitting nearby and eating, said that she was great. It's so great to eat under her influence. He had never seen a newbie like her. Let her hide behind and watch carefully. She needs to remember this well. He attacked the monster, and she watched in fascination as he fought with it. In another game, she once told him that in return she would tell him in secret that she was Kai Xiaoman. It was true. Seven Stars was not the least bit surprised, and she exclaimed, So what? Is he not surprised at all? Seven Stars began to cut up the monster's carcass and said that he likes to play games so he can escape from reality, and without any doubt he is a complete loser. Let alone talking to girls, he gets tired enough just trying to live. He smiled and said that in the game he could give up everything, and those problems seemed to no longer exist. Kai Xiaoman was surprised by his words, and he asked, Is it really impossible to find yourself in the virtual world? Get to know yourself, be free, and just live? Kai Xiaoman thought that this was how he taught her to seek detachment from reality, freedom from her physical body. And then only in the game and only when she was with him, she could really feel that her soul was free. The next morning, she turned to Zio Fu and said that he should send someone to look through all the games in the stores and find the player with the nickname Seven Stars. Some time has passed. Kai Xiaoman looked at the many VR helmets on the shelves, and the guy told her that they carefully searched in all the popular games now. All the accounts he played on were deleted. Suddenly a man came into the room and told her to stop suffering from nonsense. The company can't stand her anymore. Kai Xiaoman got angry and pointed her finger at him and exclaimed that it was he who forced him to leave. It was he. Let him not even think that he can control her. The man told her to be careful. Even though she climbed to the top, she is nothing without company. And a louse like him doesn't deserve to be talked to. Kai Xiaoman began to beg him, saying that if he found him, he could sign a training contract with him. He would make him an e-sports star. The man asked, any sports star? Is she crazy? This is the age where the connection between technology and the human brain is so advanced. Everyone is able to change their appearance in the game, fly through the sky and crawl underground. Why on earth should he become any sports star? He is pretty, mannered, maybe rich. So why on earth should it be him? Let her play in moderation and not allow the temperament of that ragamuffin to spoil her. Kai Xiaoman pursed her lips and thought that she had to find him. She doesn't believe that he could leave her like that. She just doesn't believe it. 
Kai Xiaolin returned from her memories and looked at Kai Xing, who in the body of the Ant Queen rushed towards them and thought that he was still here looking for her. And he cuts everyone who wants to offend her with his sword. Let him understand himself. He can't live without her, just as a knight can't live without his princess. But suddenly Kai Xing rushed past Zhang Lingyao and sent Kai Xiaolin to hell, saying that let her taste his sword the rage of a hater. Kai Xiaolin was very surprised to see that he attacked her, and she exclaimed, so he wants to kill her. Kai Xiaolin thought that she understood, he wants her to be a distraction. As long as she calls for help, these two will be focused on protecting her. Otherwise he might miss a hit. She laughed and thought that he was still the same. He takes into account absolutely everything, but he won't hide from her eyes. Kai Xing thought, what is this fool laughing at? One hit and she will return to the resurrection point, so he can fight calmly. Anyway, she doesn't know it's him, so she won't blame him. Suddenly Zhang Lingyao repelled his attack and said that he would not dare to touch her. He used the Blazing Sun Sword and Kai Xing said that it came in handy. Now he has resistance to fire damage. The system reported that he had received fire damage. He learned the Flame Walk skill. This skill activates the continuous use of mana. The movement speed is increased by 10%. While moving it leaves a trail of fire behind itself. Duration is 30 seconds. Kai Xing smiled and thought that this was expected from his account. Now he is strong, but still he cannot defeat him. However, it turns him on. He'll just finish him off and get his body back. Isn't that the most important thing? He attacked Zhang Lingyao and he told him to get started. He will see how many blows of his sword he can parry. After these words, he used a fire combo and Kai Xing masterfully parried his blows. Kai Xiaomin, meanwhile, watched their battle and thought that Perosius was still carefully watching from the side but did not engage in battle with them. It's not like him, he definitely came up with some kind of plan. She looked around and saw a shadow clone of Kai Xing sneaking between the destroyed houses. Kai Xiaomin thought that it was as expected. The shadow clown continued to sneak around, using parasitism along the way. A shadow clown sneaked up behind Perosius, and she thought it was a jellyfish skill. That was his real goal from the very beginning. She quietly ran up to Perosius and then began screaming for help and saying that he wants to kill her. Let him quickly protect her. Zhang Lingyao told her not to be afraid. He has her back. Now he's done with him. Kai Xing smiled and said that his leading hand was his right. Let him then catch his blade. He threw the knife, but he caught it. And at that very second, Kai Xing slid towards him on the ground and asked, Does he know what phrase he can use to describe it? He hit him on the leg and said that he was a demigod, equal in strength to a mortal. Shang Lingyao could not stand on his feet and began to fall, and Kai Xing attacked him and said that he was too stupid to be his enemy. He used a 7-star combo with a powerful blow and attacked, thinking that in reality they still had a score to settle. Zhang Lingyao fell to the ground, losing almost all his health, and Kai Xing said that he was so dense he could not finish him off with a blow. Then he will change strategy. Meanwhile, Kai Xiaoman asked Perosius, can he help her? She doesn't want to be killed. He said that the woman was nothing but trouble. A stone appeared in his hand, and he said that this was his magical pet, the spirit of the earth element. He could automatically create shields that would repel blows and protect from all sides. Kai Xiaoman said that she would definitely be safe with him. She thought, is this guy a magical pet tamer? One more rank 500 item. Kai Xing loves rich enemies the most. At this time, Jing Lingyao recovered and said that he had completely angered him. He will kill him even in reality. Let him hope that he does not find out who he really is. Kai Xing thought, is he really doing him little harm? He smiled and told him not to be so angry. In fact, he is a mercenary. Perosius gave him 10,000 to eliminate him, so he will definitely take second place in the top. He extended his hand to him and said that if he gave him 20,000, he would join him and help kill him. What does he think about this? He smiled and asked, and his answer? Zhang Lingyao did not answer, and Kai Xing thought that he should give him a paw like an obedient dog. One day he too will be on his knees and begging. But Zhang Lingyao took out his sword and said that he was daydreaming. He would chop them both down. He attacked, but Kai Xing blocked his attack and hit him in the face, causing Zhang Lingyao to drop his sword and roll on the ground for several meters. Kai Xing caught Zhang Lingyao's sword and thought, Is this level 200 equipment of excellent quality? Is this the effect of the Grand Weapon Master? If he equips this, he will not gain the same attributes. Zhang Lingyao saw Kai Xing heading towards him, and the system reported that he was seriously injured and his movement speed was reduced. He tried to catch his breath and thought, 
What kind of stupid game is this? Severely wounded after a couple of cuts. It will disconnect and delete the account. Kai Zing approached him and then raised two blades and Zhang Lingyao gritted his teeth, preparing to strike. But nothing happened. Kai Zing stabbed two swords into the ground and asked why they should fight to the death. They're on the same side. He thought it would be too easy to kill him. He's like a clown. That's what he needs. He abruptly approached him and said that he would tell him something. He helped him strengthen himself so that he would surely complete the task, which is why he is now so strong. After all, he is strong. He has a high level. How could he defeat him? Right? Zhang Lingyao thought that this was true. He was second in the top. He heard that Perosius is completing the quest, the path to becoming a god. The reward for this task is the blessing of the goddess. He looked at Kai Zing's sincere smile and thought that this guy definitely got it. He should also return to this task and complete it. Kai Zing brought up the system window and said that the brainwave scanning type gaming device usually has a lie detector function. Zheng Lingyao said that he sent the system confirmation. The confirmation process began and Kai Zing said that he was requesting a lie detector test. The body of the queen ant on which he now parasitizes originally belonged to the player Perosius. He is here to discuss with him the return of the ant queen, and he is here to take him to the earth goddess. He pointed his finger at Perosius and told Zhang Lingyao to look. He then quickly paused the confirmation process and said that he was riding his mammoth. He could take control of it and control it from such close range. He told the mammoth to turn around and immediately after these words, the mammoth turned sharply and Perosius asked what is it. Let it stop. At that same second, the shadow clone plunged a knife into the mammoth's back and the system informed Perosius that he was attacked by the Seven Stars player. He told Kai Zing and Zhang Lingyao that he let the two of them fool around and they dared to conspire and attack him. He ordered the mammoth to use its war stomp and it obeyed, loudly hitting the ground. Kai Zioman looked at the mammoth, and then she felt something in Kai Zing's shadow clone told her not to move, let her let him hide, or he will kill her. Kai Zioman was upset and called him seven stars and asked how he could do this to her. Kai Zing was surprised and replied that he was not seven stars. She confused him with someone. Kai Zioman replied that his game ID is not hidden. At this time, Kai Zing in the body of the Ant Queen told the system that he would let it confirm the truth of what he had said before. The system reported that he told the truth. Zhang Lingyao cursed and said that he had been fooled. Kai Zing smiled and said that in the early stages of the game, it is difficult to level up, and it is even more difficult to catch up with those who have already taken the lead. And this guy is full of hidden intentions. Zhang Lingyao asked 20,000. He will give him 50,000, they will combine their powers, and let him not be clever, otherwise he will kill him on the spot. Kai Zing showed him an approving gesture and said that he is so straightforward, let him look for him if he suddenly finds a job. He grinned and thought that first he would convince him of the benefits and would continue in the same spirit. It was just his style. Everyone stood waiting for further action and Kai Zioman looked at Piracy and thought, he didn't notice, right? He definitely didn't notice, after all, who plays games like some kind of schemer. She asked Kai Zing in a whisper, why did he leave and not tell her anything? Let him add her as a friend. Kai Zing's shadow clone replied that he would not add. Kai Zioman said in a whisper that he would add. Kai Zing did not agree, and she asked why this suddenly. He replied that she was confusing him with someone. Kai Zioman asked, he wants her to take the initiative, right? Kai Zing replied that she was out of her mind. Kai Zing and the body of the Ant Queen said that first they need to create the appearance of a fierce battle. They will move during attacks. Wait until that pet is next to him. Zheng Lingyao interrupted him and told him to stop talking. They need to act. Kai Zing rushed forward and told him to keep up. Zheng Lingyao rushed after him and told him to slow down. They were approaching Perosius and Kai Zing looked at Zhang Lingyao running behind him, and then he suddenly turned around and swung his blade, striking him in the neck. Zhang Lingyao looked at her wounded neck and Kai Zing thought in surprise, is he still holding on? What kind of account does he have? Zhang Lingyao's wounds began to heal, and then he ran after Kai Zing and said that he had seriously injured him. He lost more than half his blood. Kai Zing continued to run and thought that he remembered that the race was some kind of guardian Zengmu. Apparently this race had the ability to restore blood, it must be legendary. Zhang Lingyao called out to him and said that he didn't want to be hit alone. Let him stick his neck out. Kai Zing continued to run away and thought that his race had a lot of skills in the wood element. But for some reason he was studying the skills of the fire element. He simply has no words. Zhang Lingyao attacked him, but Kai Zing dodged and said that he was doing too much damage. 
so he would kill him in a second. He will just run away. He made several jumps on the walls and roofs of buildings and Zheng Lingyao asked, Is this guy actually doing acrobatics? He smiled and thought that no one could compare with him anyway. He was invincible. And this is just a wound and nothing more. Today they will both fall here. Kaizing jumped onto the roof of the building and stood next to Perosius while Zhang Lingyao ran up to him from the front. Perosius said that he hated to interfere in their low-level battles, but they forced him to do it. Pieces of earth began to fly around him, and he said that this was unforgivable. The stone began to cover his hand, and then he summoned the mountain spirit totem, and a huge totem appeared behind his back, which grew to the size of a high-rise building. The system window reported that it has a higher magical life. Level 800, race value 45, rank 23. Skills, four divine eyes of the earth elephant. Gains the ability to control four types of magic, enlisting the support of the earth element, mastering the magic of the earth element, mastering gravity magic, and the ability to summon spirits. Kaizing says he seems to have noticed. The distance is enough, so you can attack directly. Perosius uses the skill heaviness of the earth. The system notifies that there is a double force of attraction around the totem within a radius of 10 meters. The effect of this skill was activated, and they began to feel this strong pressure. Kaizing thinks that he will not be able to fight him in this gravity field. Lowering the body's center of gravity can weaken the body's gravitational force. Zhang Lingyao asks who is he looking down on. He is no worse than him. The eye on the Perosius totem glows, and he uses the mountain collapse skill. The system notifies that this skill automatically detects and blocks enemies surrounding the user, continuously attacking with the elements of Earth. Zhang Lingyao runs without dodging these attacks and asks, does he really think that he can block him with such a large-scale attack? Kaizing realizes that this is a good opportunity. He begins to sneak up on Perosius from the side. Kai Xiaomen created a large sphere of light around him and asks if he needs help. She has good equipment. Kai Zeng tells the hostage that she must be aware of her situation. They don't know each other at all, so she should stop talking to him. She thinks he's a real stubborn guy. Zheng Lingyao jumps up and uses the skill embodiment of fire, flaming sword of the sun. Perosius notices this and uses the square stone shield skill. He creates a large slab above himself that blocks his attack. Zheng Lingyao continues to make efforts to attack him. At that moment, Kai Zeng crept up on Perosius from behind. He blocks his sword attack using his stone hand. He tells Seven Stars that it was too loud for a surprise attack. Kai Zing is surprised by this. Perosius asks, he believes that he does not have magic, right? Anyone who thinks this way dies a very cruel death. He pushes him back with a wave of his hand. Zhang Lingyao destroys the stone slab and loudly says that he should not have forgotten about him. He strikes with his sword and hits the elephant's head. Kai Zing deactivates the symbiosis ability and says that he is lost. He uses the symbiosis skill on a huge totem. His shadow clone sitting on Kai Xiaomen uses the parasitism skill on someone. He climbs out of the sphere of light and falls to the ground. He screams in pain and says he is bleeding. He clings to the elephant and the system notifies that the parasitism skill has been successfully activated. The process of symbiosis, the test of will begins. Perosius smiles and uses the goddess defense skill. The system notifies that thanks to the power of the earth goddess, mental resistance increases by 500%. There is a chance to repel spiritual magic. Kaizing is very surprised by what is happening and looks at something. He has been transported to a strange place and is looking at the abyss in front of which he stands. He raises his head and looks up. The earth goddess appears in front of him and says that she welcomes this baby. Welcome to the world of the gods. Kaizing asks, is she a goddess? He didn't use symbiosis on a living creature, did he? The goddess asks if he really does not see what is standing behind him. He turns and asks what is there. This was the first time he had found himself in such a situation. Can she tell if symbiosis can be used on her? If the skill is not activated, he will feel very awkward. The goddess agrees and says that he must merge with her spiritual world using his symbiosis. She begins to reach out to him with her hand. Kai Zing is scared and asks what kind of jokes are these? Is this really another plot murder? He shrank and said that his inner heroism needs time. Suddenly the mark on his head begins to glow strongly and this pushes away the goddess's hand. Kai Zing was very surprised by what happened and does not understand what is happening. An unknown voice says that he must run away. 
He turns around and notices a huge jellyfish that looks like him. He starts to run away and asks what kind of huge jellyfish is this? Is this really God? Did he meet another God? He's level 20 and has already met the gods. The goddess of the earth begins to crawl out and scream very loudly. A huge jellyfish stretches out its tentacles and clasps the hands of the earth goddess. Medusa tells this idiot that this is her spiritual world. Kaizing asks, is this the spirit world? Does this huge jellyfish mean that there is no escape from here? The tentacles pull the earth goddess back into the abyss. He decides that in this case, he should simply cancel the symbiosis. After that, he regained consciousness and returned to the totem. Perosius is standing on the ground, and part of his body is covered with stone. The queen ant stands not far from them and looks at what is happening. Zhang Lingyao fights off stones using his sword. Kai Xiaoman stands in the sphere she created and watches from afar. Kai Xing joined the ant queen and used the symbiosis skill. The system notifies that the target has successfully blocked his skill. While in the spiritual world of the target, he must pass a test of will. Kaizing wonders, the description of the test of will from the symbiosis skill was like this from the very beginning. To penetrate into the target's spiritual world. What else is this? She notices a symbol on the belly of the queen ant, the same as the one on his head, and wonders if he really left this symbol. It is similar to the same symbol that is on his head, but it is still slightly different. While parasitism will operate successfully in the spiritual world, symbiosis will be successfully used in the game. The Earth Goddess asks if she allowed him to escape. The fourth ability of the Mountain Spirit Totem, Summoning Spirits. Kaizing is surprised and remembers his Shadow Clone. The Elephant, which is under the control of a Shadow Clone, attacks the Goddess who has captured the body of Pyrosius. The Shadow Clone grabs the Ant Queen with its tentacle, and Kaizing tells Kai Zyleman that she should not move, he is taking her with him. He runs away, grabbing her, and says that they will get it now. Somewhere in the distance behind the mountains you can see the silhouette of the Earth Goddess, who is captured by the tentacles of a huge jellyfish. Kaizing uses the Divine Moment skill while sliding. He understands that he won't succeed this way because he is too slow. His cheap horse was killed, and he had no other horse. Symbiosis only had one free use slot, and Kai Zyoman did not receive any bonuses from this skill. Well, even if there was a bonus, the magician's agility and stamina would still not be enough. He takes out a scroll to return to the city. The system notifies that he is in combat mode and cannot return to the city. The huge earth goddess releases her hand from the grip of the huge jellyfish and reaches out to him. She strikes the ground with her hand, and this causes a wave of destruction to appear that quickly catches up with them. Kaizing turns around and notices a wave of destruction that is rapidly catching up with him. A column of earth appears below him, and this launches him into the air. They start falling after that. Kai Zyoman is surprised by what is happening and says that they are flying. She asks the seven stars if he remembers how they crossed the Great Kali's Canyon together. She slides her face down the slope, and Kaizing asks what is she saying. He understands that he can't do this anymore. Obviously, the big jellyfish is here to help him. She must have started a secret quest regarding her race. Zhang Lingya looks at what is happening right now in shock. Kaizing thinks that he thinks that this jellyfish does not have such a high strength index. If she continues to try to confuse the Earth Goddess, she may be seriously harmed. He must help the giant jellyfish. Who knows, maybe he will receive good rewards for this. Need to come up with a plan. He needs to use all the hidden and visible clues to win. He used symbiosis, launched a test of will, and penetrated the spiritual world of the mountain spirit totem. Even if the large jellyfish can follow him into the spiritual world, then each time in the process of symbiosis, it penetrates with him. Two of his skills definitely come from this jellyfish. Parasitism requires testing the target's life force, while symbiosis requires testing the spirit. Parasitism has not been activated several times already, but the use of symbiosis has never failed. He hadn't even faced a test of will yet. This must not be a bug in the game, it's some kind of trick. In which case he has an idea. Kaizing starts a call to a user with the nickname Arrogant Nugget. Tang Hua asks with a shocked look what's going on. He heard that some kind of fuss had begun in the village. Have the continental plates shifted? Kaizing says that he should keep quiet. He just somehow attracted the attention of the gods. Is that archer next to him now? Can he ask her how she feels after he used symbiosis on her? Tang Hua says she is offline now. 
Kaizing asks if this can only be verified directly. If it doesn't work out, then the big jellyfish will have problems. Tang Hua says that she told him that she doesn't remember what happened at all. She also thought that her watch was wrong. Kaizing attacks the system window and says that he must shut up. He'll deal with it when he leaves the game. He turns to the Earth Goddess and says that if everything is so, then the answer is obvious. He deactivates the symbiosis skill and tells his clone that he must use the divine requirement and become a mount. Now there will be a turning point. A respected celebrity must lend him her body. He uses the symbiosis skill and Kai Zyoman was very scared by this. Kai Zing thinks that with the same symbiosis, he should create a spiritual bridge between them. The big jellyfish must wait for him. Kai Zyoman blushed deeply when she regained consciousness and says that he doesn't need to do this. What kind of place is it? Kai Zing says that this is her spiritual world. She shouldn't shout because they're coming. She asks who is he talking about? Suddenly a large tentacle appears in front of them and this greatly surprises her. The big jellyfish says it wasn't bad, although his understanding of innate skills is a little primitive. Kai Zing asks if the goddess can follow him. The big jellyfish says that she lacks knowledge in the field of spiritual will. This spiritual space belongs exclusively to their race. Kai Zing says that is good. He wants to know if he still needs help. He thinks that in the game, helping NPCs can open up a quest chain. The big jellyfish says that he doesn't need help because he's too weak. Kai Zing wonders why things are not happening the way he thought. This is not so, there definitely must be some kind of quest here. He just hasn't reached the required level to receive this quest right now. The big jellyfish says that he should level up faster. So does he still need his help with symbiosis? Kai Zing says he doesn't need help. He is here to connect with him. The system notifies that the symbiosis failed, and after that they return to their bodies. He asks, did he just kick him out like that? What an arrogant and indifferent NPC. Kai Zyoman gets very angry, stretches his face, and says what he just did. She doesn't finish speaking because she is too angry with him. Kai Zing says he didn't see anything, honestly. It's just a game. She shouldn't take it so seriously. While they deal with each other, the shadow clone gazes at the earth goddess, who stands above the earth. The goddess points a finger at him with a menacing look, and immediately after that simply disappears. Kai Zing notices something and is very surprised. He, in the body of the Ant Queen, grabs Kai Zyoman and says that their affairs are very bad. They're not done here yet. They need to run away from here. She asks what happened again. Why is he bringing it to her again like a sack of flour? Couldn't he do it any other way? Kai Zing asks, should I change it like this? Now she's head first. Kai Zyoman says that he should have picked her up. They run away and she hits him in the face. Perosius flies after them, controlling the earth, and wonders what is happening. He had just lost control of his body. Does the god-calling skill allow gods to take control of the body? Unexpectedly, she gave him a premium quest. The path to becoming a god is five sequential tasks, for the completion of which you will be given items such as the maximum level of mastery of the element of earth, a magical pet totem of mountain spirits of the 800th rank, dual specialization warrior and master of the element of earth. In the system window, it is written that he has a task, to catch and bring a jellyfish to the Earth Goddess, rewards, obtaining the 100th level, artifact Earth Staff, specialization of the Earth Element Earth Wanderer. Perosius thinks that this is a separate quest from the previous one with the stone fruit of the Nine Keys. There are also new rewards here. Compared to the path to becoming a god, the rewards of this quest are ten times better. Lucky account at the beginning of the game, this is simply excellent. This idiot has great rewards to begin with. Zhang Lingyao says that he should stop because he is not done with him yet. He throws his sword at him and says that he is fully proficient in all types of weapons, and this melee sword can still be thrown. And how can he do that? Perosius tells this idiot that he should not stop him from completing the quest. Zhang Lingyao says he shouldn't call him names. He ordered him to kill him, so he will chop him up now. Perosius says that he must shut his mouth. He was used, and he didn't even realize it. It would be better if he thought about how he was able to steal his artifact blade. From the beginning of the game, all divine level items are tied to specific accounts. It turns out that either he stole his account, or vice versa. Although he doesn't even know how he did it. After all, he is not playing for a person, but for an ordinary jellyfish. In any case, it is not he who should tell him about it. He flies away on a large bird and says that if he finds him in reality and brings him to him, 
he will help him complete the task, and he will properly thank him for this. Zhang Lingyao looks at him and reaches for his head with his hands shaking with anger. He takes off his helmet and realizes that it was Kai Zing. He leaves his room and moves on. A man sitting on a chair asks if this is his son. He is a very handsome young man. His father says that this is Uncle Lin and he should greet him. The man asks, his son is going to university next year, right? Where will he submit the documents? It doesn't even matter where, he can just tell what he has chosen to his uncle and he will arrange everything. Zhang Lingyao waves his hand and says that they will talk about it later because he has things to do. His father says that his son still needs to learn life, so he shouldn't be offended. Lin tells Zhang Zong that he should mean what he says. His son carries himself with dignity and shows no emotion. Zhang Lingyao goes outside and tells Zai Ohu on the phone that he must bring people to him. As much as he has, he must bring. He presses the phone very hard and says that some people are tired of living. At the same time, Kai Zing runs away jumping through the trees and says that he is impersonating someone else. Kai Zioman agrees and says that she knows about it. He got angry and asked, so she knew, but was still with him. She blushed and said that now she is with him. Kai Zing says that it's as if this is some kind of rarity. The strength indicator on this body is low and carrying it in your arms is tiring. Kai Zioman asks is she a burden to him. He can leave her if he wants, unless of course he regrets it. Kai Zing throws her into the bushes and says that someone will help her, see you later. Kai Zioman came out of the bush and asked how dare he do this, waiting for her army of fans to crush him. Kai Zing gives a thumbs up and says that's great, she shouldn't forget to call him when she gathers her people. The bigger, the better. Kai Zioman gets very angry and tells seven stars that he will not leave her. She calmed down and said that, however, he threw her into the bushes. He did this on purpose to soften the fall so that she wouldn't get hurt. This is all because of his character, in fact, it is clear that he constantly thinks about her. Kai Zing thinks that he has already left the battle mode, now he can return to the city at any time. He was able to outwit his enemies, find the mythical pet queen ant, learn legendary skills, successfully escape from a strong boss, and also earn money. This is the best thing about gaming. It's time for him to switch off. I need to withdraw the money and return everything back to my mother. He takes off his helmet and breathes a sigh of relief. He got scared when he saw Tang Hua watching him and asking what he was doing. He says that he is finally back. He could change his nickname. Why does he constantly shout out seven stars? After all, previous enemies can find him. Kai Zing says that as a child, he constantly dreamed of nine stars. They connected one after another, and the seventh star exploded, and he appeared. Does he believe him? Tang Hua says of course he believes him. Kai Zing asks why he didn't change his nickname and is still called an arrogant nugget. He hugs him and says it doesn't matter. They laughed, and that's enough. He will help him deal with them so that they will then be afraid to connect again. That's what makes him a good leader. Tang Hua agrees and says he is a great leader. Kai Zing says that they should return to the topic of the Earth Goddess. He should help him find information about her, level, skills, her oppression of his big jellyfish. Sooner or later, he will deal with this goddess. Tang Hua says that the time will come when this game will become a hit. He needs to calm down. He assures him he will find out even the foot size of this goddess. Kai Zing thinks that there are many difficulties ahead, but it is definitely heaven that sent him these tasks to test him on these small obstacles. Definitely it is. However, he will be fine. Suddenly someone knocks down the door to this room and enters them. Kai Zing turns and sees a crowd of guys walking in on them. One of them hits Tang Hua, and he is grabbed by his clothes and thrown into the corner of the room. He crouched in the corner and grabbed his helmet. Zhang Lingyao stands in front of him and looks straight at him with a very angry look. He says he plays great. Kai Zing wonders, does he really know? Zhang Lingyao calls him the Seven Star Jellyfish. He remembers about the blade and thinks that he should have guessed about it earlier. Artifacts and benefits received at the beginning of the game remain tied to your account. Zhang Lingyao says they should beat him harder. He will take care of everything if there are any beatings or something more serious. No one will dare to mock him. The guys start beating him and asking if he really didn't see who he was insulting. Tang Hua is held back by a guy and he says that they are already going too far because there is a law. He screams loudly that a person is being killed here and calls for help. Zhang Lingyao says that he should shut his mouth. At this time, the guys continue to beat and drag Kai Zing. He thinks his helmet shouldn't break. Tang Hua is also hit in the face to keep him quiet. 
Kaizeng thinks that only with the help of this helmet can he fix everything. This is hope for his entire family, parents, and sister. He has not yet found out the cost of the Ant Queen and has not withdrawn money from the account. He could earn more and more. Some time later, the whole room was destroyed and he was lying on the floor. Kaizeng wonders with a blank look, why are they doing this to him? Is this really his destiny? Zhang Lingyao leans towards him and says that he helped him strengthen himself so that he would definitely complete the task, which is why he is so strong now. And where is the power that he had in the game? Why is he lying there and not knowing how to fight? They will break this helmet and let him go quietly, all for his own good. Kaizing resists and he asks, have you decided not to let go? Wants them to keep beating him. He is surprised when he saw his face. Kaizing became very angry. He leans his hand on the floor and hits it with his head as hard as he can. He remembers that his father once helped one person, but was deceived and because of this their house was confiscated. Then he was small and could not do anything. Shang Lingyao falls after this blow. Kaizing thinks that her sister fell and still hasn't come to her senses. He lacked funds and still could not do anything. He was fooled and robbed. And he was such a coward and did nothing again. However, he would not dare to give up again. He captures Zhang Lingyao and thinks that he doesn't want to be an idiot, a loser, or a doormat. He doesn't want people to wipe their feet on him. Doesn't want to accept the pros and cons, doesn't want to doubt. Zhang Lingyao screams in pain and says they have to pull him away. His eye hurts. Kaizing thinks that no one dares to offend him. And no one dares take his things. The guys run up to them and say that they must help the boss. It looks like it exploded, so it might kill him. Why did he suddenly become so fierce? Kaizing clings to Zhang Lingyao with all his might and thinks that even if he dies right here, he is not going to just accept his fate now. Suddenly, someone took out a knife and stabbed Kaizing in the back. The person who did this begins to smile. He steps back and is scared when he realizes what he just did. One of the guys got scared and asks Zhang, Did he just kill a man? Zhang Lingyao screams in pain and pushes Kaizing away from him. Tang Hua is shocked by what happened and calls him brother with tears in her eyes. He pushes the guys away and says they should let him go. He runs to Kai Zing and says that he should look at him. Someone should call the doctors. Is he okay? He must endure a little. Everything will be fine. Kai Zing is bleeding and raising his hand asks to bring him a helmet. Zhang Lingyao brings his helmet and says he brought this. He didn't lose it. His helmet is here. Kai Zing takes his helmet with both hands. The guys say that he really seems to be dying. He should come and check if they are faking it but the knife seems to have hit the heart. What should they do now? Zhang Lingyao says they should call the doctors. Can't they see that he is wounded? Someone's voice says that he did it. The old man from the game says that he seems to want to see the power of the ash even more than they do. They need to help the seven-star player complete the class change. They must help him complete the most important step of changing the ash wanderer class. Tang Hua puts his hand on Kai Zing's face and says that he shouldn't scare him like that. The old man completes his sentence by calling this task death on ashes. Unexpected in the world of the game. Kaizing appeared and fell on the Ant Queen's head. This surprises him greatly, considering what recently happened to him. He jumps high and asks if he is dead. He examines his body and asks why he returned to the game. Did he become a ghost inside the game? The system window appears in front of him. Kaizing is surprised to see this and asks why the inventory opened on its own. A strange hand appears from the inventory, which he received once in the game. He asks if this is not the strange thing that fell out of the queen ant's nest. This hand grabs him, and he was very frightened by it. The scroll that appears begins to envelop his body. Kaizing starts to take off and asks what exactly is the matter. The old man sits in an unknown place and says that he believed that he had a lot of time before he could figure out the conditions for changing classes. And now he accidentally fulfilled these conditions, this is some kind of irony of fate. The voice of the giant jellyfish says that the choice made by fate, he will certainly choose the right path. The old man says they are in too much of a hurry. The plan of soul and flesh was revealed too early, the gods had already turned their attention to it. The jellyfish emerges from the water and says that this will not be a problem because they will expose themselves. At the same time in the real world when Tang Hua asks him not to scare him like that. He is about to touch him, but suddenly the floor around them changes due to strong energy. A column of light leaked through the roof and rushed high up. The game character Kai Zing is flying at great speed in the real world and he has leaked through the roof into the building. 
He is surprised that he sees his body and wonders, does this mean that his soul left his body because he was stabbed to death? He asks, then why is his soul a jellyfish from the game? In that case, he should return to his body. He is held back by a hand and a scroll, but Kaizing asks them to let him return or else he will fight. The giant jellyfish says that his soul is too weak, so he cannot return to his body. Very soon he will dissipate. Kaizing wonders, is this the voice of that big jellyfish? But why does he hear this voice? Has the game become reality? If so, gaming skills can be helpful. He notices that his soul is beginning to disappear, and he uses symbiosis on his human body. His soul joins, suddenly his hand begins to move, and the sound of his heartbeat becomes louder. Suddenly Kai Zing opens his eyes. Tink tentacles sprouted from his head, just like his in-game character had. He gets up, the knife falls out of him, and he asks if he is really alive. He asks Tang Hua to look at him. Is there nothing growing on the back of his head? He calls his name again, but he doesn't react to it. Everyone in this room froze, as if time had stopped. Kai Zing asks if he can tell what's going on here. He shouldn't make fun of him. Jellyfish says it's the power of time. A large jellyfish slowly descends from the sky and lands in the middle of the city. Medusa says that he must complete the class change and change his destiny. From now on the whole world will give way to him. The old man says that the most difficult condition is death on the ashes, but he has already completed this and moved on to the next stage. He taught him this. He should complete the class change and it will clear his doubts. Kaizing asks, is he talking about those conditions for changing class? He thinks, should he change class to Wanderer? The first condition is to get an unknown bone hand. The second condition is to receive a class change scroll from the old man. The third condition is to die on ashes. The fourth condition is to replace another divine power with divine power. It looks like a huge hole, but since the game and reality are intertwined, then what can stop him? He loudly says that the divine power needs to be activated, replaced with another divine power. Open the list of skills, show legendary skills. It took the Shenman Company three years from its founding to the independent development of the game Ancient Gods. From one person to a close-knit team. Recently, there have been rumors that the UN and its five largest member countries, as well as the World Bank, the Continental Financial Union, and many other international organizations will jointly participate in the development of the game. They will have the right to control the development of the game in accordance with their share of contribution. Many consider this to be fairy tales and lies, but he is confident that it is all true. He has been studying Chinese for 12 years and has been working at Shenmin for 3 years. And he can be said to be an employee involved in the development of the game from the very beginning. And as a designer who was involved in the research and development of this game can attest. Someone calls Mr. Jamie and says it's very early today. He wishes the girl good morning and says that in the afternoon, she should not forget about it. The guy who follows him also calls him. A lot of people surround him and ask if his annual leave is over. Is he going camping this weekend? He should go to Chuizi's camp. He can join them. Everything is organized by the company and the girls will be at the highest level. The guy grabs Jamie by the shoulder and asks what he thinks about the plan he told him last night. Is he going to implement this in the next update? Jamie turns to him and says that he needs the head's approval, he will contact him for approval. He leaves and thinks that as the chief designer, he assures that all the settings and data they created over these three years are still intact. Real ancients do not require a network connection. Tens of thousands of employees came to every home. A mind control system that completely synchronizes brain waves. Realistic scene simulation without bugs and rendering of the smallest details. Suddenly generated NPC gods without any design information. This is definitely not a product that employees can openly create. Who knows what's going on there right now, and what's going on inside? In China, there are several suitable Chenju. Steal the beams and replace them with logs. The golden cicada sheds its shell. Exchange the cat for a newborn prince. The genius of the production team hidden behind the scenes, or the supercomputer leading the world into new technologies and he wants to reveal this secret for his homeland. He enters the elevator and goes down and goes deep underground. After some time, at minus 6,915 meters, the elevator doors open. He briefly loses consciousness and wears strange clothes. Jamie looks around and wonders, what kind of space suit is this? What happened? What kind of place is it? He had just been in front of the doors of the head's office. The man standing behind him says that he shouldn't twitch. Soon they will sink 10 kilometers underground. 
If the elevator breaks down, they will all die here. Jamie asks in surprise, did he say 10 kilometers? The man says that at the bottom of the server, he will get there and dispel all doubts. Jamie realizes that this is the voice of the head, who has never appeared in public in three years. He notices the shovel in his hand and asks, what is it? The man says that he should hold it, because it will be useful to clear up some things. Jamie is surprised and asks how to rake something while being under 10 kilometers of earth. He thinks it doesn't matter. He has been trying to uncover all the secrets for so long, and very soon he will achieve his goal, but he will still yearn for this place. I wonder, do Chinese restaurants at home serve small baozi for breakfast? He looks up and notices something surprising. He sees a lava lake in which lies a huge man with large tubes attached to his head. Jamie thinks it's a massive project. Will other god-level races realize it? But this giant, what does the Shenmin company even do? Are they setting up a gaming showroom? The head calls it by name and says that it is the game's central processor. Shenmin is God's dream. The ancient gods are his kingdom of dreams. He laughs and asks, isn't he shocked? Imprison an ancient creature and then make a game out of his dreams, he is a real genius. Jamie tells his boss that he can tell jokes. A man passing by them with a bucket asks the boss, is he bringing newcomers with this shovel again? He unloads the contents of the bucket and says that he is already dying of fatigue. Three more appeared from the dream, right? They need more people. Someone says that there are already four of them. But don't worry, three on their side, they'll deal with them quickly. Jamie thinks they should keep showing. Who knows, maybe the whole secret is hidden in these areas. He takes it in his hands and wonders, are these some kind of synthetic metals? Is it empty? Is it possible that these are overheated mechanisms? He understood everything. Geothermal energy is the cheapest source of energy that is always available to people. Almost unlimited energy keeps the game running while still being able to account for cooling in such an environment. An innumerable number of such mechanisms work in turn, thanks to which the production of gods is carried out at the highest level. These processors definitely usher in a new era of technology. Who knows, maybe they are testing the effectiveness of this in this game. And if these processors are used during wars, the consequences will be dire. As expected from a sleeping lion. His homeland continues to adamantly impede the development of logistics of this vile country. But despite this, they still manage to make a technological breakthrough. He must find out all this. They should let him take a look at how far their computing power has come. The man asks the boss if it seems to him, or is that guy really not very smart? Another man asks if he doesn't realize it's waste. They should make sure he doesn't wake up that big guy. Jamie wonders where the switch is on this thing. He can't find it. The protective suit must be too tight. The man asks what he is doing. Does he really want to take off his suit? He must stop immediately. Jamie wonders why he was so worried. Of course, he doesn't want his secrets to be revealed, especially by such a perfect employee like him. The head grabs his hand and stops him. He says that they are now underground at a depth of 10 kilometers. The air temperature here is 300 degrees. If he takes off his protective suit, he will burn out in an instant. Jamie was surprised and wondered why he was so fast. Did he teleport? Is he seriously talking about 10 kilometers of depth now? Who would even believe in this? Why not 20? The head takes him away and tells him that he must stop touching this waste. They must go to let him in on the real secret. Does he know who lies in this lava? Jamie wonders. He wants him to guess who this sculpture is carved from. He says that he belongs to the race of giants, the main plot of the first chapter in the game, the fall of the city of giants. The leader of the giants, who has been sleeping for thousands of years, he is the head of the Kuafu clan. Jamie remembers that he was the one who decided on the final draft of the game. The head says that this is a good guess, but next time he shouldn't try to guess. In fact, he himself does not know who he is. He must be one of those who lived in past eras. One who took responsibility for the fate of his race. Most likely it's a child. Jamie says that he has such a big body. And he says it's a child? Did he decide to laugh at him? He must tell him what he really wants to know. The head asks, what's wrong with this child? One prominent person in their country once said that children are the future. The man sees on the monitor screen what happened to Kai Zing and says that it appeared. All employees need to take precautions. The head says that he is incredibly lucky. This is just in time. A new child who will place the fate of this era on his shoulders. Suddenly makes a very loud sound, which frightens the employees. The man says it's an earthquake. Once the top of the cave and all the structures collapse, they will be crushed. 
They must run away from here quickly. Jamie grabs the suit and says it's just a little show. They don't need to panic so much. It would be better to take a closer look. They try to stop him and a metal ball flies near them. He wonders where it just came from. He raises his head and sees how these balls fall out of the giant's body. Workers fly with buckets and shovels. Who says that every time the divine power overflows, a lot of such black balls appear. Someone asks, isn't it funny that they call collecting these power balls work? The head says that these are power balls, and this is the game helmet of the game Ancient Gods. As soon as these two objects collide, they become just such a helmet, possessing that same divine power. The first 10,000 helmets sold with super accounts were created in this way. Isn't that what he wanted to know? Jamie says it's quite hard to believe. The player buys a helmet with divine power, so it has better rewards. The head agrees and says that he finally understood it. Jamie asks, are these benefits predetermined and strongly tied to divine power? The head agrees and says that everything is exactly like that. Jamie asks, does the number on the dice actually represent the amount of divine power? The head agrees and says that he is amazed by his ingenuity. Jamie throws his helmet on the ground and asks if he mistakes him for an unintelligent child. He can make up 37 and a half of these stories while sitting on the toilet. He should let him see the technology chips and the production team. The head says he is too restless. He points his finger at him and says that he should have heard everything. Jamie says he has to stop tricking him because he's the head designer. They have the right to know all the valuable information. The head says that he doesn't seem to understand him. These words are not addressed to him. He speaks to the one standing on his back. Jamie is surprised by this and asks what is he talking about. He wonders how he knows this. This is his main secret. The head says that although he is blonde with white skin, he is a spy from the kingdom of the four islands. All information is transmitted, isn't it? The prime minister and his advisors in the kingdom of the four islands must listen carefully. This is an unprecedented change. Using his magical powers, he lifts Jamie up and says that those in the game will become dragons floating in the clouds. Those who are not there. He throws it into the lava, which greatly surprises him. The leader steps back and says that these people will turn into ashes. This news shocks the people from the kingdom of the four kingdoms who have been following Jamie. Someone says that special agent code number 312 was sacrificed. Before his death, he managed to send them a recording. The man says they need to contact all advisors and executives immediately. An emergency meeting needs to be held. The head takes off his spacesuit and says that they must go and see with their own eyes the choice of fate. At the same time, the old man says that he must choose skills to transform divine power. Kaizing examines the windows of the system that are flying around him. The old man says that divine power varies, each belonging to different gods. They do not yet know most of the gods, and it is difficult to distinguish which of them embodies good and which is evil, and it is not clear whether they should save their lives. What does he think about this? Kaizing turns to him and asks if each type of divine power can be transferred to the corresponding Wanderer class shift. The old man says that theoretically it is possible, but the conditions for each Wanderer are different. The King of Ash belongs to a group of gods who are friends with people, so the conditions for changing class are simple and clear. Kaizing says that of course the conditions are simple and clear, he had to die for this. Either way, he's ready to begin. Skills. Seven Star Blade, Brave Heart, Divine Moment, Sunset Blade, Order of the Divine Knight in general, he needs to choose all the rare purple ones. Preserve Parasitism and Symbiosis, Gluttony, Miracle Worker, and Transform Everything Else. In the windows of the system, it is written that Symbiosis, if the test of the target's will is failed, then it can parasitize and take control of the target. A skill consumed by Gluttony can be saved and used. The Rise of Gluttony was activated. He received the title of Miracle Worker. Every 24 days, he can change the probability of one or another event once. Kaizing says he is starting a class change. The hand and the class change scroll touch each other. He is surprised at what he saw after that. A bone hand and a scroll fly next to him. The moon is visible behind him. A huge stone disk flies in the middle of the planets in space. Kaizing asks if these are planets. Everything here looks so big. This slab of stone is the size of a planet, and it looks a bit like a clock. He notices that a very bright glow has appeared from the scroll. Several columns of bright light of different colors fly out from the scroll. Kaizing says that this is his divine transformation power. These pillars of light fly towards the stone slab and crash into it. 
Kai Zing watches closely what is happening. Suddenly very strong flows of energy appear. These currents push him away with great force. Part of this plate extends and emits light. Kai Zing tries to hold on while under the influence of this energy. After this, an imprint in the shape of a person appears on one of the planets. Kai Zing appears from this silhouette on the planet and opens his eyes. He sees many planets lined up in a row. One of the planets suddenly begins to move very quickly in his direction. This surprises Kai Zing very much, and he looks at it in fascination. An unknown voice says that this is how he appeared. The old man asks, did he see the divine disk of the creation of the world? Kai Zing is still surprised by what he saw and says, the creation of the world, the divine disk. The old man agrees and says that the divine disk is the creation of the world. There are written 24 divine principles that exist in the universe. There are only 24 divisions, and the life that first comes into contact with the divine power can feel this division. He saw a continent of ash. Kai Zing can't get over his surprise and hesitatingly says that there were not 24, but 12. The ashen continent suddenly soared above him and distributed. Because of this, he died again. The old man puts his hand on his shoulder and tells him that he doesn't need to panic so much. Such is the power of Ash, he has already successfully changed classes and acquired the Ash attribute. He saw twelve, those that were in front of him, and twelve more were behind. Such is the divine nature equally against each other. As for the Ashes, this is the place where all the dead find their final rest, even the gods rest there. This is the alien core of the entire universe. The divine nature of Ash has the power of death. This information is not necessarily true, they were told about it by a stone statue at the bottom of the sea. Once he gains enough strength in the game, he can go and watch. A large jellyfish was once able to hide in a crack that was on this statue, and this is how she managed to survive. Kai Zing thinks that the plot must be unfolding like the backstory of the ancient gods. The screenwriter did a great job, he didn't even find any holes in the story. He asks, if there are 24 gods, then besides ashes, what are the remaining 23 gods? The old man says that all history that existed before this era has fallen into oblivion. If he does not resurrect, then they will not be able to find out about what happened. Each deity has a unique power that no other deity can resist. However, about the deity who ranks 23rd, most of the divine wanderers agreed and called him a person. Kai Zing is surprised to hear this name. He turns away and says it's a rather strange name. And what abilities does personality have that are the same as Ash? The old man says that he has not appeared yet, so it is unknown. Kai Zing turns around and says that he is very disappointed. This hurt the old man even more. He says that only two sections have been added to the divine disk of the creation of the world. One or another divine power may still be in the process of origination and have not yet been discovered at all. Every deity has an opposite deity, the opposite personality they call hidden in the shadows. Something like that. The ashes could open a bridge between the game and the real world, thus allowing him to return from the dead. The power hidden in the shadows can also pass through this bridge. We need to fight and eradicate these shadows, then the owner of the body will be able to come to his senses. He must let him see the true power of the ash. Kai Zing agrees and says that he will put questions aside for now. Otherwise, his fists have been itching for a long time. Several shadows begin to walk towards him. A shadow under which Zhang Lingyao is visible. The old man says that they still lack patience. He should be more careful. The static nature of time was broken. Kai Zing asks, does he need to destroy all these shadows, and then he can wake them up? The old man laughed and said that he was right. Does he need to know anything else? Maybe their abilities or goals? The old man says that their abilities are the same as their nature. As far as the goal is concerned, they need to prevent the emergence of personality. Kai Zing stretches his hand and says that they are simple and rude, like classic petty bosses. They should come here. He will start with small minions. The old man is thinking, or should he not tell him this too difficult truth? The signs on the disk of the divine creation of the world promise that at the end of this era, the twelve deities that will appear together will symbolize the end and have power equivalent to the god of creation. As the dark side of the last deity, the purpose of the one hidden in the shadows may be to gather the remaining deities together and destroy them. Fate is alarming, and they can only hope for the spirit of the seer, the skill of the gods who created, the place where the gods fell asleep, and the man chosen by fate. Kai Zing attacks the shadow and uses a friendly crushing blow. The shadow dodges his punch and is about to attack him back. Kai Zing barely manages to dodge this blow. 
The old man is surprised at what happened in front of him. Kaizing asks him why everything is so fast. Are these the abilities he spoke of that are similar to their nature? The old man asks how he managed to evade. The one hidden in the shadows has at least two or three times stronger attributes. Kaizing dodges many of the shadow's strikes and says that he knows what it is. He is very familiar with this method of attack. You need to dodge each attack 10,000 times and then attack 10,000 times in order to remember and instinctively respond to blows. This is his path to victory. He was able to dodge the blow and struck the back of the shadow's head with his palm. The shadow dissolves and there is a man there. The old man looks at it and wonders, does this guy think this is a game? Kaizing panicked and asked, he didn't kill him, did he? The old man says that he must calm down. The whole blow was taken by the one hidden in the shadows. Immediately afterwards, he is attacked by three shadows simultaneously. The old man wonders if he has really mastered the power of personality. What do the gods expect? He watches Kai Zing's battle and thinks that he is now completely relaxed and needs to fall properly. How will he manage not to lose his balance? Will he be like a gecko that rests on all four limbs and crawls like that on the ground? But these are the movements of cats. Animal behavior, methods of attack, changeable nature. Animal-like movements, fluidity, and wild imagination. All the skills he saw turned into instincts. He shows amazing reactions without even thinking about his movements during the fight. There are twelve deities, each of them has only twelve faces, representing twelve types of divine powers. An hourglass given by time to a huge jellyfish, and the fruit of desires that he received from his own aspirations, is only one of the powers of certain deities. A person must also have twelve abilities. As they say, man is the crown of creation, learn from nature, according to Taoism, you need to follow the principles of nature and live in harmony with all things. Learning or imitation is the first ability of the individual. Representing the beginning of all things, fate cast its gaze on him. He never clearly showed divine power. The king of ashes belonging to one or another divine nature is unknown, but his choice also fell on the guy. An invisible danger continues to rage. How many other deities are waiting in the shadows? This is unknown to them yet. There is no place for peace in the gods. Kaizing asks, have the shadows disappeared? The shadows began to gather behind him into one large creature. He turns around and wonders, is this Zhang Lingyao? He will continue as a representative of this era. The old man concentrates the energy next to his finger and says that this is an old trick. Collect all the darkness in one person's body to make him stronger. Seven stars, he can't handle it. It will be better if he fights this shadow. The big jellyfish forbids it and says let him continue. The old man immediately dissipated his energy and asked, does it want to see the limit of his abilities? He hasn't used the ash ability yet, so he wants to see it too. Medusa says that this is not so. It hopes that Kai Zing will be able to pour out all the resentment that is hiding in his heart. And this man is an ideal target. They shouldn't interfere in this fight because at the last moment, it will be able to use the hourglass of time and time will go back. The old man asks, has it gone completely crazy? Time and fate are favorable to him. Time gave him three chances to control time, and he wants to waste it here. Medusa says that people on whom fate has cast its gaze very often encounter misfortunes in their lives. His mind was shackled and blinded by darkness, unable to find a footing. Can he really stand on his own two feet again? The old man says that he should have guessed from the very beginning that it was cutting him off from its source of power. It's crazy. He tells Kai Zing that he should quickly use the power of the ash, and then he can defeat this big guy. He takes the helmet and says that he was just stalling for time. He put on his helmet and is about to enter the game of ancient gods. It is transported into the game and falls on the head of the queen ant. Kai Zing says that he is in the game. He is still the same small jellyfish. This is not cool at all. He activates the symbiosis and connects with the queen ant. He says he wants to review the skills of the ash follower class. The system notifies that he has acquired the skills space of ash, power of ash, invasion of ash, substitution of ash, and call of ash. Kaising says that these basic skills are quite good. The skills he chose to transform came back and became even stronger. The system notifies that the space of ashes, he receives the right to enter the lands of ashes. When limiting the higher level divine power, the space of ash can be opened anywhere. The application range of the ash space is 10 meters, can be expanded by increasing the level. Within the range of application of ash lands, the right of control applies. In the ash desert created by the invasion of ash, the right of control also operates. 
Kaizing both in the game and in reality says that if his guesses are correct, open the space of Ash. Ash is a bridge connecting the game and reality. As long as he simultaneously uses the Ash space, he can use his game body in reality. His real body transforms and his body crosses with the Queen Ant's body. Kaizing says that this is not bad, in reality the same feeling of power as in the game. But why is it that the further you go, the less human he looks like? Zhang Lingyao says he feels great. He grabs a chair standing not far from him. He throws this chair with great speed, but Kaizing very quickly dodges this blow. Zhang Lingyao laughs loudly and says that he has become a superman. What kind of impudence is this? He'll let him see now. He doesn't have time to finish because Kai Zing jumped up and hit his face with his knee. Zhang Lingyao grabs his nose and says that he is in a lot of pain. Kai Zing smiles and says that this is still the same agile body of the Ant Queen. No matter how much power he has hidden in the shadows, he is still the same Zhang Lingyao. He must return his things to him and so be it, he will spare him. Zhang Lingyao gets very angry and says that he will kill his entire family. Kai Zing runs up to him very quickly and kicks him. He's surprised that he didn't do any damage and wonders if it didn't work. The old man says that he should not underestimate his opponent. He is one with many of those shadows. And now his powers must be eight or ten times those of the common man. Zhang Lingyao punches him very hard and says that he will beat him to death. Kai Zing dodges this blow and claws at the shadow's arm and inflicts wounds all over his arm and jumps above him. Zhang Lingyao was surprised by this and asks what is this all about. Kai Zing says his second skill is Ash Power and Ash Invasion. The system notifies that the power adds the power of Ash to its attack, causing damage to the target's spirit and also leaves an Ash Trail mark. Ash Invasion, creatures marked with an Ashen Trail can turn into Ashen creatures. The speed of transformation is related to the number of Ash Trail marks. Low-ranking Ashen creatures cannot resist the direction of higher-ranking creatures. Kaizing says that he will add eight more marks of ash, several similar attacks, and he will turn into a slave of ash. Besides, he still hasn't returned his things. Zhang Lingyao says that he feels himself becoming stronger. His attacks will soon be useless against him. Kaizing runs towards him with his hand clenched into a fist and constantly says that he did not return his things. He strikes many times all over his body and Zhang Lingyao fell to his knees. He grabs him by the hair and says that he will ask him one last time. Will he return his things? Zhang Lingyao's eyes light up. He begins and releases very strong energy. He gets up and many hands appear around him, created from the shadows, and he says that he should give him more strength. Kaizing is surprised by this and asks what is this? The big jellyfish says that's it. He did a good job. A huge tentacle breaks through the wall of the house they were in. A small bow created from energy comes into contact with the shadow. The whole room is filled with a very bright light, which illuminates Kai Zing, and he begins to disappear. The old man says that fate sent a seer, but fate remains stubborn and continues to stand its ground. Why doesn't it appreciate what was given to them? He concentrates his energy on his finger and says that it turns out that she is ready to burn all her strength just to turn back time thinking of giving the remaining two chances of the hourglass of time to this guy. Although her abilities come from the gift of the goddess, who is now sleeping in deep sleep, her existence does not lose significance because of this. She must allow her spirit to leave this body, for her own sake. She needs to get on with her life. The body of a huge jellyfish transforms and takes on a human form. At the same time, at a depth of 10 kilometers underground, the man takes off his helmet and says that this is all very boring. If time goes back, does that mean he'll have to kill this Jamie again? But by the way, he's a cool guy. How tired he is of all this. Kaizing sees all his memories of what happened recently. Someone loudly says that here it is, a new era of games. Ancient gods, 10,000 gaming helmets were sold out today. Each buyer can receive a super account upon entering the game. Kaizing opens his eyes and sees where his story began. He realizes that time has gone back. People around him say that he still hasn't bought a helmet, and all 10,000 are already sold out. These helmets are really very expensive. Kaizing looks around and says that he is indeed back where he started. At the last moment, the old man, it seems, said something to him. Then the old man told him that in order for him to return to the past, a large jellyfish sacrificed itself. He saved her soul and sent her into his first helmet. She shouldn't end up like this. Resurrecting her will be his plot task. And finally, he must appreciate the opportunity. 
he must return and rise among the gods. Kai Zing thinks that he can start the game perfectly this time. However, he says that the old man warned him about the large jellyfish in his first helmet. However, which one exactly? Then all he could think about was how to sell it for a higher price. How can he remember which one he kept? What if he sells a helmet with a big jellyfish on it? Why is everything so difficult? If you look at this as part of a story mission, then hints will definitely appear. His core ability may be the key to completing this task. Main ability. Open the space of ash. His skill triggers and an area of ash appears around him. He decides to use symbiosis and two tentacles appear from his neck. Kaizing looks around and sees magical energy hidden in the boxes with people's helmets. He says that of course it is. If he meets certain conditions, for example, possessing divine power, then he will be able to see the divine power itself. The one that glows the most must be the super account. As for the second, it is most likely not very valuable. The guy asks why he is so slow. He's been waiting for him for half a day already. Has he really decided to quit his job? It really doesn't work well. It's been a long time coming. He had not yet met such sellers who worked like him. He approaches the boxes and says that he will also have to lift it himself. Kai Zing asks what is he doing. He should put it down. The guy asks what's wrong with him. He shouldn't waste his time. Kai Zing goes to him, takes off his glasses and stretches his fist. Suddenly he hits himself very hard in the face and falls to the ground. He says loudly that they are beating him and that they are going to rob him. He stole his helmet, someone should call the police. People gather around and ask what's going on here. Are they fighting? Are there still those who steal helmets? They should call the police because there is something to see here. The guy says that he is deceiving them. He hid himself. People around him saying that he can forget that he will be able to escape. They must surround him. Not everyone had time to buy helmets. He shouldn't take that away from other people. Maybe he could resell one to him. Kaizing holds his nose and thinks he overdid it. Some time later in the evening. He sits in his room and says that the day before yesterday he contacted the guy through an anonymous number so that he would not track him. He did not resell the helmets and was not labeled as a person reselling these helmets. He has no reason to blame himself for what happened to him. This idiot is not so pure, he even had a case of arrest due to a fight. Some time ago. Kaizing says he can let him go, he accidentally fell himself. The policeman says that he needn't worry, he shouldn't be afraid of revenge. He came under suspicion of fighting and robbing goods worth more than 60,000 yuan. There are witnesses and material evidence. This is enough to imprison him for 10 years. He will receive financial compensation for the harm he caused. Kaizing's face changed, and he said that what he said was true. He wanted to cheat him out of money. But he is here only for the sake of justice, and he does not need financial compensation so much. Currently. Kaizing looks at the helmet and thinks that he should not waste even a second. The next step is extremely important. He needs to enter the game Ancient Gods and create an account. He puts on the helmet and says to the adventurer Kaizing, Welcome to the Ancient Gods. The game has determined that it is in the Chinese region and is loading. Kaizing clicks on the system window and a voice says that the player has chosen to skip the introductory animation and go to the dice roll. Pass, let's start registering a new user. Kaizing grabs the cube and says that it should speed up, rewind the throwing part, and show him the result right away. A voice congratulates him on being 99. He's on the server for now. Kaizing says he wants to skip this information and have it emailed to him. So, then Kai Zioman appears. He is surprised by what he sees. In front of him stands a large jellyfish in human form. She says he shouldn't have done that. Kaizing says that it seems that he swapped her soul for one of the exclusive personal assistant awards. He hasn't used this feature yet. He extends his hand and says that they should meet again. He says his name and says that she can call him seven stars. What should he call her? The jellyfish says that she has no name and doesn't need one. Kaizing says that he understood her. She's a goddess. It's normal that she doesn't understand human principles. But he can't keep referring to her as a big jellyfish. They have a huge difference in strength and status, so he will call her Xuanxu. What does she think about this? She agrees and says he can do as he pleases. Kaizeng blushed and turned away. He thinks he knew his talent for making up names was wonderful. He even received divine approval. Xuanxu says that she has no right to consider herself a god. The Wanderer is the original possessor of divine power. It has advanced only one stage further than the Wanderer. He, as the discoverer of personality, may have the opportunity to become a god. 
Kaizeng apologizes for interrupting her and says that he is grateful for her help because he got a chance to start over. And he needs to make the best of this chance to make a perfect start all over again. Now he needs to do something else. How about we talk about this later? He takes off his helmet and breathes a sigh of relief. He says that next we need to stop the emergence of crime. So that this never happens, the first step is to contact Tang Hua. Kaizing calls him and says that he should help him resell the helmets. Would he like to buy one after they sell six? Tang Hua asks, so he hasn't left the gaming world yet? Kaizing says he has a plan. He must send a message to the school chat. And he will give him a helmet in which they will give a reward in honor of the opening of the server, and he must return the one he ordered. Tang Hua asks how he knew that he ordered a helmet from the second batch. Kaizing says that he told him about it. He needs to stop talking, he needs to quickly do what he says. Immediately afterwards, he ends the call. Kaizing leaves and thinks that the second step is to install a camera opposite the front door to record everything well. He also needs to make sure that Dad's camera is still working properly and check it after some time. Step 3. Side Missions Contact two new customers and sell three helmets. In total, he will receive 53,000 yuan. There are another 7,000 on my mother's map. This is enough to log into the game for two days and go to the anthill. He will leave one helmet for his sister and another for himself. Everything is ready. All that remains is... He hears the doorbell ringing and smiles. Kaizing opens the door for him. Zhang Lingyao asks, Is it true that he has an extra gaming helmet? Kaizing says that is not true. He spoke to his friend, but he misunderstood him. Did he post the news to a group of classmates? He can't give him the helmet. He wants to go to university. He needs a helmet to enter the game, because this way he can earn money for his studies. Zhang Lingyao punches him in the face, and he falls to the floor. He asks, didn't he think of giving him the helmet right away? Then there would be no need to beat him. Doesn't he understand that? What if he just takes it away? Even if he beats him to death, his pathetic family will not be able to do anything to him. Does he know who his father is? He smiles evilly and looks down at him. Some time later, in the game, Kai Zing is carried by a jellyfish in the guise of a jellyfish. He says that on the second helmet, unexpectedly, the part about choosing a name was skipped, and he went straight to the game. Last time, this seagull almost killed him. This time, they can cooperate. He uses the symbiosis skill and says that they should go together to the fire ant's nest. After some time, they arrived at the right place. The system congratulates the Seven Stars player for becoming the first player to leave the starting village on the entire server. He receives rewards, a pioneer quest, a book of unknown skill, and a thousand gold. Kaizing says that the rewards remain the same, but the title of pioneer and the teleportation ring with the resurrection skill have disappeared. Does this mean that the power that was in them, and that he chose to transform, can no longer be obtained? There is nothing special about it. First, he must go to the anthill and level up. The system notifies that he is the first to discover and enter the dungeon of the final boss of Kingshi Village, and also activate the quest The Story of One Boy. He received the quest item Boy's Dagger. Kaizing jumps down and says that while he was in the sky, he seemed to remember the map quite well. Kingshi Novice Village in the center, Fire Ant Nest in the east. In addition, there are also boss dungeons in both the north and south. Zhang Lingyao killed a level 30 demonic bull in the early stage of the game. He must be on the coast now. Pyrosius killed four bosses while fulfilling his mission to become a god. Those bosses were most likely in the strange stone forest. They must feel fear of what he now knows. First of all, he needs to quickly finish the initial stage of the game. The system congratulates him on gaining the gluttony skill. He must absorb other skills to gain experience points. He also successfully developed the legendary skill 7 Star Blade. Using any attack in a combo, the attack damage will be increased by 100%. Some time later, the system notifies that he has reached the 10th level. He has reached the maximum level at the moment. The accumulated experience points will be saved. After changing class, he will be able to continue leveling up. Kaizing says that it took less than two hours. The first players will have to leave the starting village soon. Legendary skills have divine power. Which god's power does the seven stars blade belong to? Chuan Shu says that when sea water evaporates, it is no longer sea water, but only free steam. Kaizing says that he understood her. It is a released force without a master. Then, if he collects all the free water vapor so that its amount is equal to the sea, can he become a god? 
Xu Enshu turns away and says that steam is just steam. Kaizing grabs his head and says that he realized that steam is just steam, not seawater. Steamy, cold, raining. Water accumulates on the ground and can become a trickle. Streams merge into rivers and rivers flow into the sea. Kaizing asks, is there any reason for a qualitative change? Amount of divine power, sublimate divine power, place divine power in a vessel. It seems like it's not easy at all. Xuanshu says that he must come down from heaven to earth. He had just touched the edge of one of the twelve personality abilities. In the personality system, he had not even reached the rank of wanderer. Kaizing says that he just needs to choose the course in which to move, and everything will work out. She looks at him with confusion, and he says that she doesn't have to worry. He will definitely help her return her physical embodiment and complete the next step to become a god. He promises her. Xuan Shu thinks about this. She says that first he must improve the skill she gave him. The system notifies him that he has received an incoming call from a user named Arrogant Nugget. Kaizing says he is taking this call. Tang Hua says that he sees him in the rankings, that's cool. The server opened a little over an hour ago, and it's already second in the top. Kaizing asks who is taller than him. Tang Hua says that there is one level 15 idiot here, he has already completed the task of changing a rare class. Someone has already even complained about him because of the assumption that he is a cheater. In the system window, there is a rating list. The first rank is the 15th level. The nickname is the most wonderful man. The class is the omniscient apostle. Tang Hua says that he should come here quickly and take him away from here. It's very difficult to level up here. It takes three or four people to fight a straw man, and the chance of equipment dropping is very low. Kaizing says it doesn't matter. What about what he asked him to do? Tang Hua says that he was following Zhang Lingyao from a distance. Now he completed the newcomer's task and went to the north of Qingxi village. At the same time, Zhang Lingyao says that with this helmet, he got the number 99 and cool rewards. Only he is able to feel the power of this account. Open the mail, he wants to receive a reward. The system notifies that he receives five additional attribute points, an additional three pets, a bloody black dragon egg pet, a special blade growth artifact, a special skill great weapon master, a special class change scroll, a story quest on the path to becoming a god. Zhang Lingyao says that he should open the characteristics panel to view. The system notifies that his name is Blinding Sun, Race Guard Zheng Mu, Heir of Xuan Lin, Level 10, Race Value 43 Points Distributed, Skill Minor Weapon Master, Main Class Not Selected, Subclass Not Selected, Maximum Number of Magic Pets 5. Sheng Lingyao says that this face is so scary, and he is also short. Open Inventory. He equips an Artifact Blade. Dragon Egg Not Hatching. It needs nourishment from dragon blood, dragon crystals, and dragon spirit. What does this even mean? Class change scroll. After completing the task, the path to becoming a god, he can change class. Who gives such awards anyway? Quest scroll the path to becoming a god. This can't be used either, right? The first task is to summon the fruit of wishes, make a wish, and receive a task corresponding to the complexity of the wish. Complete the task and receive the power of wish. After absorbing the power of desire, he will be able to teleport to a special space where the wish tree grows, and then move on to the next step. Third task. Where there are a lot of letters, there is no need to read because it irritates him. He wants to jump straight to the wish fruit summoning part. This fruit appears in front of him. Zhang Lingyao takes it in his hand and says that he needs to make a wish. Since he plays this game, he will become the strongest fire player. He knows what he wants. This is the power of fire. The system notifies that he has successfully made a wish and received the task. The complexity of Desire G, the requirement to cut down a tree with a diameter of more than 50 centimeters. Zhang Lingyao takes his sword and says that this will be a piece of cake. Basic sword skill. He strikes with his sword and cuts down the tree. The system notifies that he has completed the task. His wish has been fulfilled. He gained fire elemental abilities. After this, his sword begins to emit fiery energy which rises upward in streams of fire. The system notifies that he has gained the ability to control fire. He gained abilities associated with the element of fire. It should open a list of skills. His attacks deal fire damage, and he is immune to fire damage. Zhang Lingyao says that this is quite good. He was given the ability to control flames, a fire blade, and attack with explosions. He will definitely be the fiery player. It suits him.
Suddenly, someone screams loudly not far from him. Zhang Lingyao turns and asks who is there. Suddenly, a large monster comes out of the forest towards him. He says that it is just a red-eyed, black-haired boar, a level 8 monster. This is just the right time to try out his new skills. Shouldn't this monster be black? And this gray one is a deviation from the norm. Did it seem to him, or did it say something? He brings up the system window and says that it is broken. The subclass has not been changed to Beast Tamer. The grapple cannot be used. What should he do now? At the same time, Tang Hua screams loudly in pain. He asks Kai Zing why is he beating him. Kai Zing says about Zhang Liniao that he gained fire elemental skills and spent a wish. How is it even possible to be so stupid? He made a critical mistake. He should have jumped on him and just beat the idiot real hard. Tang Hua says he should calm down. He has a very cool skill, Ash Invasion, right? He can turn monsters into his servants, and he can also switch controls. It's 200 meters here, isn't it? This is even better than the main skill of the Spy Assassin class. Kai Zing says he shouldn't talk about it. It will move on to the next step. He should get out of the game and post the video on major social media platforms to get attention. Tang Hua comes out of the game, taking off his helmet, and says that he doesn't have to worry because he can be relied on. At the same time, Kai Zing equipped the soldier ant blade and says that as for him, he will use this sword and will go looking for him to challenge him to a duel. Zhang Lingyao should be ready and wait for him. Looking at his stupid look, he doesn't even know how much he can withstand his attacks. Today is the last day he was lucky. He should enjoy it one last time. But first he needs to put the weapon in his inventory, because heavy equipment quickly reduces his durability. He cannot even imagine how he will defeat him and get his account back. He raises his head and asks the seagull, is he here? He needs help. Kai Zing looks around and asks where all the monsters in the area have gone. He doesn't even have a mount. When he gets his account back, the first thing he will do is get himself a magical pet to ride. So, first he should look at what Zhang Lingyao is doing. He opens his eyes and immediately closes them again. He starts running and says that he should have guessed right away. And what was he thinking? In the past development of events, Zhang Lingyao at this time should have gone to the coast and killed the 30th level demonic bull there. All the way from Kingshu village, he used the ash invasion to keep the boar under control. And the closer he was to this place, the fewer monsters he encountered. Doesn't that mean it's a boss area? Tang Hua calls him and tells him that he posted the video. He had to hide, he found an internet cafe, and from there he posted a video so that he would not be found by IP. By the way, this excited him so much. And after the publication, many different media outlets immediately contacted him, and he gave them the address of Zhang Lingyao's house. Is he hunting for Kai Zing now? He couldn't defeat him? There shouldn't be any problems with his technique. Kai Zing says he should stop talking. He hasn't met Zhang Lingyao yet. This is the boss area. He can defeat him but he cannot defeat the bull. Sometime later, he climbed a tree and says it should work from here. He closes his eye and uses the ash control skill. The boar's eye changed color, and as it turned out, this monster was wounded. Zhang Lingyao says that he is too desperate to escape, which is commendable. But where can he escape in this way? Someone calls him, and he asks where he is. If again his magical pet does not evolve, he will make him bleed. The guy says he will come soon. He somehow found an animal tamer whose grappling skill was raised to medium level. Zhang Lingyao looks around and wonders, where are the monsters here? Could it be that they had returned to the safe zone near Kingshi village? Suddenly the ground beneath his feet begins to tremble. He hears very loud sounds. A pair of huge red eyes appeared behind the boar he was fighting. A huge monster appears from behind the forest. In the system window, it is written that the name of this monster is Cold-Blooded Sea Demonic Bull, level 30, race value 27 points, skills powerful ram common, iron health common, high level control of the element of water, roar of the demonic bull, rare. Kai Zing looks at this monster and thinks it is amazing. Despite the fact that it is a sea creature, it exerts very powerful pressure even on land, although not even close to the queen ant. From this distance, he immediately becomes hostile and is an aggressive boss. Is this monster already prepared for a powerful ram? He just wanted to see what creatures changed by ash turn into after they die. The boss begins to use a powerful tarrant. Zhang Lingyao runs to attack the boss and says that it should stay away from his boar. The boss attacks him and throws him aside. Kai Zing thinks perhaps he should be a little touched by his action. 
He returns to his body and says that the plan has changed, he came up with something better. This Hulk will definitely be defeated. Where is Jin Yue? He must help him find an assassin who will assist him in battle. Tang Hua says that only two hours have passed since the server was launched. How did he know that he wanted to create the Jin Yue Brotherhood? Besides, most of his friends don't have helmets yet. Kaizeng asks what he was thinking about there. He must think faster. Does he have someone in mind? Tang Hua says that the answer is yes and no. In general, not yet, but someone very proactive contacted him here. Kaizeng says that he should tell it like it is. We need to hurry. We need people there before the boss dies. Tang Hua says that he asked to post the video. He also sent it to the game forum. Then one interesting lady saw it. She wrote him a message, but he was afraid and did not dare answer her. And after he has started a new game, it will be problematic to get confused with it. Does he remember? In that game, in defiance of the heavens. In order to defeat him, she hid several hundred weapons, cursed talismans, several thousand heavenly thunders in the dungeon of the heavenly path, and also found hundreds. Kaizing understands who he just talked about and says that if only it wasn't Luo Zayosi. Does she still have the same ID? Tang Hua says that's not true, otherwise he would have recognized her immediately. But he shouldn't worry, he'll still go and look for the killer. Everything will be done on time. The system notifies Kai Zing that he has received a new letter. He opens this letter and there is a video there. He plays this video that was sent to him. In this video, Luo Zayoki picks up the camera, brings it very close to his face and looks into the lens, after which the video ends. Tang Hua asks what is wrong with him and what is he looking at. Kai Zing points at the video and says she is looking at it. Tang Hua panicked, he opens the control panel and asks where to press here. He should use the name change card faster. Kai Zing says he should stop panicking. There's nothing wrong with her coming. Tang Hua is surprised by this and asks if he can play with this normally. This crazy woman just wants to beat him and ruin the gaming experience. Kai Zing says that the video where she tried to intimidate him only inspired him to deal with her. Does he want him to play with her? She will be delighted. His coordinates are 131, 961, he must go to him. On the way, he will have to send her a challenge to fight and coordinates 156, 420. She should be there in an hour. The location of these coordinates is approximately 500 meters from Zhang Lingyao, not far from the training ground. They will meet there, and then they will go to raise his level. Tang Hua writes to Luo Zayosai, it's her, right? Looking for trouble from seven stars. They've both been patient for too long. In an hour, they can meet her at coordinates 156, 420. He says he sent her a letter. Kaizing says everything will be quick. She sent a message from Kingshi Village. So he can get there within an hour. Some time later. Tang Hua comes running to him and Kaizing says that this will be a fight without rules. He's ready? He is surprised and asks if he really wants to take control of it. Kaizing hits him on the head and asks if he has any idea what attributes they will have. This time he is the main force. Tang Hua asks him not to do this and says that he is afraid that she will remind him of this later. Kaizing says he needs to agree, they have half an hour left. It doesn't matter whether it's time for Zhang Lingyao to attack the demonic bull or prepare to face Luo Zayoki, but time is ticking. There is no point in resisting him. He uses the symbiosis skill. They are transferred to Tang Hua's subconscious, and he asks where they went. Kaizing turns around and tells Xuan Shu that he can handle it himself and she doesn't need to interfere. Tang Hua asks who is he talking to. In response, he asks what is he talking about. Apparently, his ears are ringing. He must listen carefully to what he says. He must test his skills. He must clear his mind of thoughts by feeling its instructions and allow his body to act subconsciously and instinctively. Tang Hua agrees to this. He equipped the soldier ant blade. He asks where he got it from. Isn't this his? Kaizing says that he should calm down and continue to listen to his instructions. Tang Hua walks towards the gray boar and Xuan Shu asks, Is it really a personality skill that works like that? One of her original skills was parasitism through the force of occupying the bodies of other creatures by suppressing the vital forces of the victim. Symbiosis is parasitism on a spiritual level, suppress using spiritual power and gain soul control over the body. But he was able to ensure that his spiritual power and the power of another being were in harmony and to apply a symbiosis in which the owner of the body retains free will. Although this is not a symbiosis, that's something even she can't do. It's coexistence. 
Tang Hua says that Seven Stars is a boar taming master. The system notifies that he has successfully unlocked the legendary skill coexistence. This skill, provided that symbiosis is successfully used, the target can remain conscious and maintain control over the body. Kaizing looks at these system windows and says that he has gained a new skill. And if you achieve harmony with a magical pet, then it won't be one body with two souls. The same thing, how will two people talk on the same phone? He should not pay attention to health points, he should inflict wounds, the main thing is to increase the level as quickly as possible. Tang Hua strikes the boars several times with his sword, but suddenly one of the boars gets angry and throws him into the air with a blow. He was able to gather himself and strike the monster's head with his sword. He says that he got a dialogue box here. The seven-star player offers him coexistence, does he accept the offer? He clicked accept, and he was again asked to take over the leading role. Kaizing says he should press no and give up the leading role. He will take control of it. Seven stars will now cut the pork ribs. He moves very quickly towards the large crowd with a big smile. He rushes through this crowd and destroys these boars. Tang Hua says that he can still use his skills and send letters, but he cannot control his body. And everything else works as well. In addition, his viewing angle has changed to a third-person view. He is attacked from behind. Kaizing dodges the blow and says that was a great warning. Tang Hua says that the mana is starting to return. He asks what does this mean. He is surprised and says that this legendary skill drains mana. Within a certain range of 20% of mana spent on all targets is returned. This is a divine skill. He found his way into the leveling group and, relying on the skill of returning mana, earned experience on straw men. So he upgraded to level 3. How does he feel like his mana is instantly replenished, and he can fight again and again? Kaizing says that his 7-star blade has an ability that is a series of countless basic attacks that do not consume mana. He defeats another boar, and the system notifies Tang Hua that he has reached the 4th level. He says that nevertheless, this is only the 4th level. He had just chatted with Luo Zayoki's henchman, who had recently received the helmet. It wasn't easy. He should allow him to show the videos and materials he was able to obtain. He turns on the video and Kaizing looks at the system window that appears in front of him. Luo Zayosai stands in a cave and holds a kunai in his hand. In front of her stands a person with ID cold knife, level 6, race demon, race value 35, class not selected. Next to him stands an underground dragon, level 5, race horn champsosaurus, race value 32, skills roar normal, Wild Charge Normal, Tear Apart Victim Advanced. Cold Knife says he liked this pumping area. She should fight and get out of here so as not to waste his time. Kaizing remembers him and says that he knows this guy. Luo Zayoki spins the kunai on her finger and a fog appears around her, into which she ran away. The Cold Knife says she has gone invisible. The Underground Dragon must use Roar. The system notifies that this skill, within a certain range, reduces the target's mental resistance. There is a chance that the target will suffer mental confusion. The cold knife looks around. He senses something, and turning around, thinks that he has found it. He uses the deep cut skill. Luo Zayoki dodges this attack, and this greatly surprises him. She was behind him and put a kunai to his throat. Kaizing asks, is that all? And so what? Tang Hua says that it all seems like she is again challenging those who occupy a place at the top, and then publishing on the forum the process of reprisal against them. This is very bad. Kaizing says they have received enough information. It cancels the symbiosis. Invisibility, splitting, mortal blows are a standard set of killer abilities. She has a level 6 level upgrade and hasn't changed her class yet. It looks like the whole trick lies in that dagger. The system notifies that the name of this dagger is the heart of an assassin, the rank is a divine artifact, the skills that use become the owner of all the skills of the assassin class. Kaizing says that they should compare combat power. They spend about 10 minutes leveling up, and there are still some things that need to be done. They should do it faster. The system notifies that his ID is 7 stars, level 10, race is an ordinary deep sea jellyfish, decorative, race value is 10 points, class is not selected, skills blade 7 stars are legendary, parasitism, symbiosis and coexistence of legendary rank. Kaizen says that he shouldn't ask about very low basic attributes. In the system window, it is written that ID is arrogant nugget, level 4, race is human, race value is 30 points, 
Class is not selected. Skills return of forces are legendary. Light splashes are normal. Equipment is the usual beginner's set. Kaizing says that he has unremarkable rookie attributes, few skills, and no unique attack combos. He thinks that he now has a class of Disciple of Ash, one of the levels of the Wanderer. Apparently, without defeating the Ant Queen and not receiving the Bone Hand, which is needed to change the class, the class itself and skills will not be displayed. If he doesn't see his skills, Ash Space, Ash Power, Ash Invasion, Ash Substitution, Ash Call, then others won't see it either. This is precisely what will be his trump card. He hasn't used Substitution and Calling yet, but this time he will take full advantage of it. He says that Luo Zayoki's ID, level not lower than 6th race, given the reward system at the beginning of the game, then she can have a high level humanoid race, race value above 30, no class selected, skills invisibility, splitting, fatal blows. Has standard killer skills. Equipment Artifact Assassin's Dagger, perhaps it is this item that gives her access to other skills of the Assassin class. Tang Hua says that this is somehow not very optimistic. Everyone is new, and she has so many skills, doesn't that create an imbalance? He must teleport them back to the village to change classes. There will be class bonuses and a set of skills, and these are already qualitative changes, then they will be able to fight on equal terms. Kaizing says that if he changes class, his attributes will not change. He thinks that he only has one slot to change class. If he uses this now, he will no longer be able to change class to Ash Disciple. He will lose more than he will gain. He jumps down and says that he should listen to him carefully. He returns to the city, buys as many teleportation scrolls as possible to a certain point, enters the coordinates that they have now. He must buy at least 10 pieces. Tang Hua asks why does he need so much. At the beginning of the game, there is not so much money, and scrolls of teleportation by coordinates are a real luxury. Kaizing throws away many items and says that this is all for him. He must exchange it for gold in the system store. Tang Hua says he is very cool. Where did he get so much equipment? Kaizing attacks him with a blade and says that enough empty dialogues. Because of this blow, all of Tang Hua's health points disappeared. The system notifies that he maliciously killed the player Arrogant Nugget, he received 100 points of malice. His nickname has changed to Red, and the system notifies that the maliciousness value for each hour on the network can be reduced by one point. The level of favor towards him will decrease in all neutral cities, and all NPCs, all NPC guards can attack him. He became the first player on the server to receive a bad reputation, he received the skill Awe of Malicious Kai. May cause mental shock in sentient beings. Those affected may receive the fear condition. Their attributes will be reduced by 10%. Kaizing says it was unexpected. He is more confident now. Tang Hua's body disappears and he teleports back. He appears and asks what is wrong with him. It was already difficult for him to get the fourth level, but he did this. Unexpectedly, Kaizing cuts off his head. He lands and says that he must teleport faster because he needs his body. The system notifies that he maliciously killed the player Arrogant Nugget, he received 100 points of malice. Tang Hua returns and says that he will come now. He doesn't have time to finish because Kaizing killed him and received 100 points of malice. Tang Hua keeps teleporting towards him and keeps dying. He says he doesn't understand him. He dropped to the first level. Will they appear weak in front of her on purpose? Maybe he should die too. It would be fair to him. What kind of secret manipulation is this? Luo Zayoki activates the Threat Sense skill. The threat level is medium. Turns out this is boss territory. Does he really want the boss to react to her and do the dirty work with the wrong hands? It looks like Seven Stars is planning something similar, but it won't work with her. If he is no longer the one who can beat her one-on-one, -on -one, then she will be very cruel to him. She uses the invisibility skill. It goes a little further, but some of the terrain is a little different from the usual surroundings. Luo Zayoki asks if it seems to her, or is this land a little different? The system notifies that it has received a new letter from a seven-star player. She laughs and asks, did he answer her? She hopes that he can surprise her. Kaizing hides and tells his old friend that they haven't seen each other for a long time. She must guess where he is. Luo Zayoki chuckled and asked, is he using a magic pet to make a video? Has he become so cowardly? Then he must allow her to use the killer skills that this dagger gave her, then she will find out where he and his pet are. She thinks it can't all be that simple. There must definitely be a trap here. 
When servers were opened in defiance of Enkara Heaven, the official add-on showed the main weapon with which one could defeat the final boss of Heaven. With the help of a unique weapon, it was possible to inflict triple damage on the Heavenly Tribe, and also gain many special skills. With this weapon you could get into a special space and fight a boss, and then the weapon could be improved. But the strange thing is that no one entered the special space, and no one saw the boss. Well, when this topic gathered too much noise, some kind of NPC gnome with a carrot head suddenly appeared. He began selling the same weapons, 10 pieces a day. Although it was expensive, but for the sake of completing the game, players bought it every day. Despite the fact that the game currency was useless. The dwarf with the carrot head constantly demanded that players leave money in the magic field of one cave, so he teleported this money. After that, he gave out a map with coordinates where the player was supposed to get his weapon. Some were buried in the ground. Some are hidden under a layer of pebbles in the water. And some are even on trees. But when the players took this weapon to battle the heavens, they understood everything. The damage the weapon did to the heavens was indeed triple, but it was still not enough to progress further. And all this was because of this freak, Seven Stars. He used the ID card to replace his friend with a carrot-headed gnome NPC, and thereby gained the trust of the players. And after he was the first to discover the entrance to a special space, he stayed there for hours on end, not allowing others to enter. Relying on his skills, he killed monsters there hundreds of times and improved his weapons. The attribute value of these weapons ranged from 100 to 2000 points, and the highest attribute value of the weapon he sold did not exceed 500 points. Weapons used in a special space are soaked in the boss's blood, thanks to which more than 10 attributes can be obtained. But he didn't sell a single copy of the boss's blood. And the coordinates on the map that he sold her, they were generally in the Valley of a Thousand Snakes, where there were traps everywhere. Such a small animal does not inspire fear at all, it is definitely up to something. She will change strategy and use the killer's path, hiding in the shadows. Luo Ziosai turned invisible and jumped onto the tree. She thinks that this magical pet is carefully thought out by him, which means she should avoid him. He will appear, and like a bolt from the blue, she kills him. Could it be that he had already followed her train of thought? Did she foresee her suspicions in advance? What if this jellyfish is a hidden bomb, and if it kills it, it will get cursed? This is impossible. Although this is not the case, the probability is still high. He is level 10, but he has not changed class yet. In the video where she challenges, she only uses basic assassin skills. This should be enough to deceive him. It's okay, she can beat him. The heart of an assassin, she has all the skills of an assassin. The NPC from whom she received the dagger showed her the true path of an assassin. She is now 10 times stronger than 7 stars. She will continue to torture him until he gives up. Now all that remains is to avoid colliding with this jellyfish and wait until he appears. Kaizing wonders if she's mentally okay at all. She spent so much time saying something to herself and didn't move at all. Only he exploited the ash invasion at the cost of the remains of the boars and then transformed a small area of land into an ash desert. In the ashen desert, his right of control is able to sense anyone above him. Something like a detector. In addition, this allows you to teleport objects within the created area. Is this divine power? But this is quite a bit, and it doesn't count. Well, since she doesn't do anything, then he will take the initiative. He activates the skill call of Ash, Forward Ash Golem. Someone runs from a bush to another bush. Luo Ziosai notices this and thinks that he has come. She uses skills, Light Gate, allows you to move quietly. Protective Wind, she is surrounded by a weak wind, her movement speed increases, everything decreases, the defense value increases. Entry level sharpness increases attack power and damage effects. Speed and darkness, while she is in the dark, her movement speed increases. Blurriness, her body becomes blurry and she can pass through small objects. Initial level poisoning adds a small amount of poison damage to the damage modifier. Shadow Blade, additional damage from dark attributes when attacking. Luo Zayoki uses the potion and replenishes his mana, restoring his condition. And now, one blow is enough for her. Something moves in the bushes next to her. Suddenly, she is attacked by a gray boar. This unexpected attack surprises Luo Zayosai, but she manages to jump and dodges this attack and lands on the ground. She turns around and notices many monsters hiding in the forest. She jumps and dodges a pair of boars. She lands on her hand and rises to her feet. Luo Zayoki says that she has been exposed. 
He suddenly changed his class to Beast Tamer. This is not in the information about him, there can be no mistake. He must have used summoning scrolls. It's quite expensive at the beginning of the game, so it'll be fun. Her blade has changed shape, and she says that there are many types of killers. Besides those assassins who lurk in the shadows and kill in one hit, there are also assassins who rely on traps, spells, and secret weapons. Their weapon is called a partisan. The system notifies that the assassin's heart has been transformed into a gorilla weapon, and she has acquired new skills. Luo Zayoki says that those associated with poisons make full use of different types of poisons, sprinkling them on their victims. Such people have weapons that can kiss blue bloods. And the killers who fight deftly, whose attacks are quick and cunning, the weapon is called the Sting of the Dancing Bee. And this artifact allows her to have all the skills. She can switch between different types of killers at will. It is the perfect weapon, created especially for her. She uses the Thunderblade skill and defeats several boars at once with one blow. She touches the ground, channeling energy, and uses a hunting trap. A huge trap appears from underground, and it kills several monsters. Luo Zayoki injured her hand and uses the Plague Spear's skill. Many knives created from her blood hit several boars. She defeats all the boars and turns around and says that it's time for him to go out. At the same moment, a man comes out who had no head. Luo Zayosai grinned and said that everything was as usual. He chose a sword that looked like a hoe. How boring and uninteresting it is. She is surprised by what she sees in front of her. This guy had a boar's head. Luo Zayoki is very confused and asks what he is wearing. Kaizing also hides underground and says that the last skill of the Ash Wanderer is Ash Substitution. A creature that contains the power of Ash can become a substitute. By spending the powers of the Ash, he gains control over it. Such a body can exist for two minutes. The guy looks at the sword in his hand, and rushing to attack, he says that in fact, even ten seconds will be enough for him. Luo Zayoki says that she will gladly defeat him and crush his ridiculous pride. She uses her skills and, from invisibility, strikes in the neck area, thanks to which she cuts off her head, but something surprised her. Kaizing says she fell into his trap. She turns around and notices hands coming out of the ground. Luo Zayoki asks when did he learn the skills of necromancy. One of the hands grabs her leg and she falls to the ground while the other hands reach for her. Hands begin to press her to the ground. Luo Zayosai smiles and says that she is not impressed by him. Her dagger turns into a blue-blooded kiss and the system notifies that she has acquired new skills. Her body and hands that grabbed her were covered in poison due to the poison coating skill. She gets up and thinks this is not normal. From summoning beasts to controlling the undead, he suddenly decided to abandon his strengths in combat and just started playing around with summoning skills. Or maybe he wants her not to guess what his class and playing style is, so that she makes a mistake when choosing a strategy against him. She asks, is he using such a frivolous method? Considers her a newbie. Then he will continue to summon the undead, combining ranged attacks and melee, forcing them to switch between types of killers, wasting mana. Several corpses continue to emerge from the ground. Luo Zayoki says that when all her buffs stop working, whatever is behind all this pile of undead will immediately attack her. Is not it? She runs away very quickly and kills the undead. She asks if he thinks she is easy to control. She will dispel his crazy dreams. Dancing bee sting, normal attack is the main method of attack. She can continue like this all day. How many level 1 undead can he summon? She is surprised when she notices the unexpected attack. The system notifies that in front of it is an ash golem of the fourth level. Luo Zayoki wonders why these golems became level 4. She dodges the attack of the golem that was behind her. She blushed when she felt something. Suddenly a goblin from underground grabbed her. She uses the flurry of bee stings skill and defeats the golems, cutting their bodies into pieces. Luo Zayosai crouches down and tells this freak that he forced her to use her signature move, which absorbed most of her mana. These summoned freaks are also delaying her. She notices a shadow that appeared in front of her. The second level Ash Golem had already swung his sword. Luo Zayosai manages to strike and defeat this golem. She pulls the dagger out of the golem's body. Suddenly, Tang Hua's head flies through the golem's body with a blade in its mouth. Luo Zayoki says that he is this freak's partner. Is he really not here? She jumps to the side and continues to watch the golem. Tang Hua's head falls to the ground and drops the blade. Luo Zayoki asks who is he? Where are the seven stars? 
She gets very angry and asks where he hid. He must leave immediately. Tang Hua comes out from behind the bush and says that from the very beginning Kai Zing asked her to guess, and she still doesn't understand. Luo Zayoki wonders, do they think she doesn't know? When he died, he lost one level and returned until he had zero level. The only thing she doesn't know is where the necromancer's skills came from. But despite this, they do not pose any particular danger. She asks, so what hasn't been here all this time? Tang Hua looks at the watchless hand and says that only 20 minutes have passed since the promise. Did you think that if you came earlier, you could take them by surprise? He will definitely come after the battle is over. He always came on time. He shows her a video of Zhang Lingyao fighting the boss. Luo Zayoki asks, where is he now? Tang Hua says that unlike the one who secretly came to kill the mobs, she attacks him, interrupting his story and angrily says that then she will kill him first. Tang Hua runs away from her and says that she should wait. She needs to look at this. He reveals the top of his robe. What Luo Zayoki sees surprises her greatly. She jumps back from him when she noticed that there was some kind of mark on his body. Tang Hua is afraid, but opens her eyes and wonders if she really retreated some time ago. Kai Zing says that this Zhang Lingyao is mindlessly using fire skills to ignite the branches. Having provoked her, she would certainly attack him, so as not to die at the first opportunity. He will have to show her his belly. Returning after death is like wasting a scroll of movement. He is very economical. Currently, Luo Zayoki thinks that this I seems to be telling her that she has been followed all this time. Exactly, he asked her to guess where he was. Dark space, his stomach. If she pierces him, he will die too. Summoning creatures, necromancer magic, melee attacks. It seems that one Mab is weaker than the other, but it was a trap. His goal is to make her lower her guard. He wants to say that he doesn't even need to come here, and she is very stupid. This can't be true, is this really the tactics of an empty fortress? Kai Zing loudly asks, where is she looking? A large eye made of energy appears under her feet. He flies out of the ground and uses the anger skill. The system notifies that the aura of evil inflicts mental shock on the target with a probability of inducing a state of fear, reducing all attributes by 10%. The target is in a state of fear. Luo Zayoki is very afraid and is transported to an unknown dimension on a huge pupil. She looks into the distance and experiences a very strong feeling of fear. A huge red eye is looking at her. Kai Zing uses the symbiosis skill. He wraps his arms around her body and pulls himself towards her. In the system window, it is written that during symbiosis, both sides enter into a spiritual competition. He moves to a dimension where a huge eye is looking at Luo Zayosai. Kai Zing is unable to cope and asks Xuan Shu to help him. She is transported to this dimension and wraps her body in its tentacles. He thinks this man has incredible mental strength. This soul, like a thin blade, is strong, hard, and indestructible. If this continues, her soul will be broken. Xuan Shu tells seven stars that he should stop. This person is not suitable for symbiosis. Kai Zing says he won't give up. He knows that she can hear him, so she needs to listen carefully. She should wonder why she was stuck here with him. She is self-confident, arrogant, and hot-tempered. Does not see danger and does not perceive a threat. In this game, all artifacts have magic. Her mind has already been affected and she doesn't even notice it. Does she still consider herself an assassin? She's just a second-rate fool who was enslaved by weapons and skills. Ancient artifacts have side effects. She blindly believed in her fighting qualities and fell headlong into his trick. Doesn't this tell her something? Luo Zayoki asks, is this all the effect of the artifacts and that's why she didn't lose? She gives up and the system notifies that the symbiosis has been successfully established. A mark appears on her stomach, similar to the one he already has. Luo Zayoki takes off his helmet and gets very angry and says that she cannot believe that this seven stars freak could deceive her again. And why did she believe all these lies about artifacts for a second? But the skill he used, she felt a strange feeling. She puts the helmet back on and says that she must take back control of her body. Kai Zing says that he has had doubts for a long time. What will happen in reality to people who have become symbionts? Xuan Shu says that the targets she shares with become completely unconscious due to the significant difference in level. If he is a symbiotic, he will most likely simply lose control of his body in the game. Now she will give up control of the character and go offline. So he will have complete control over her body. She seems to be resisting, he has to be careful. At the same time, 
Tang Hu observes Luo Xiaosai's body and asks how he is doing. She opens her eyes and immediately throws the knife, which pierces the tree next to him and is very frightened by this. Kaizen controls her body and says that she is finished. They can move on to the next stage of fun. Tang Hua runs next to him and says that he is incredible, other players are nothing compared to him. Kaizen says it's not as simple as he thinks. They will have to use off-game tactics again. Tang Hua asks, so dropping his level was also part of the plan? Kaizing says that in general, if they fought hard, they would not be able to survive. This was before the battle began. He agrees with this. He turns to him and says that this is why all this was planned, so that she could not guess their strategic intentions. Tang Hua asks, isn't their strategic plan to defeat her? Kaizing says that he knew that he would say that. He believes that victory means destroying the enemy's health points. But all he wanted to achieve was to intimidate her. Tang Hua asks why his plan was to use his body. Kaizing says that's not true, it's more to shake her spirit. From the moment he sent the letter, he gave her two hints. Firstly, his true essence will not manifest itself openly. Secondly, he will be in the dark. She planned to become invisible in order to remain invisible and control the situation from the outside. But little did she know that several wild boars were disrupting her original plans. And that magic dagger. To defeat the ash golem and the boars, she transformed it into a gorilla weapon. But since on his corpse there was a boar's head, which she mistook for his body, she relaxed, believing she had solved the first riddle. In practice, the situation in the battle turned out to be completely different, faced with a squad of four levels of combat power consisting of bodies. She began to panic due to an incorrect assessment of strength. Well, to top it off was his appearance, thanks to which the preparations for the event were completed. Although she was not injured, she was left confused because of the surprise. After this, she began to suspect that she was being deceived. The more she thought about it, the more she felt like a joke. In turn, the eye he drew on it began to act the moment she attacked him. By this time, she remembered that the second clue was the dark space around him. If earlier he flew out at her from an ashen corpse, then she probably thought that he would do the same. So she began to feel fear and no longer dared to take rash actions. But the last point that made her blood freeze was the video with Zhang Lingyao. She thought that the real him was not here, but she was wrong again. From the very beginning, she tried to trick him around her finger. This is a basic skill for the best assassin. But he was always one step ahead. She thinks he is there, but he was not. He is already sending out three battle groups, constantly adjusting the battle pattern. She naively believed that he was a man, and this played into their hands. But where could the real seven stars be? Of course, she thought in the video with the boss. Could he have killed her at that moment? Definitely yes. Without the magic dagger, she would not have survived the first onslaught of boars. Could he kill after that? Most likely not. Not a single attack would harm her. Tang Hua asks him to stop this and says that his brain is already self-destructing. Kaizing says he has to answer his question. What's the best way to counter an assassin? Tang Hua says that he is an ordinary intelligence officer. How does he know the answer to this question? Kaizing says that the main character classes are divided into five types, warrior, mage, priest, assassin, and archer. Warriors can develop the branches of vitality, strength, and agility. There are also other directions of evolution depending on the additions. In addition, there are special classes. For example, wizards are considered a type of magician, archers can evolve into musketeers, and so on. Combining the two classes can also result in magical changes. For example, the warrior and priest classes can evolve into the holy warrior class. If you also choose the race of an angel, you will get a character who is able to attack, heal, and protect, possessing high endurance and protection. Tang Hua asks, so to defeat an assassin, a warrior with vitality is best, or a magician with his ranged attacks. Thanks to her assassin skills, she can carry out hidden attacks while invisible then the priest's curse will work best. But how is he going to pull this off? Using a priest on a team can have a negative impact on all of them. Kaizing says that in theory he is right, but the real situation must be taken into account. With this item, they can handle even a group of experienced players. It really works wonders. Tang Hua asks, what is the correct answer then? Kaizing says that the only one who can truly defeat an assassin is a strategist. Tang Hua starts checking the system windows and asks, is there such a class? He didn't seem to miss any official information. Kaizing hits him on the head and says that he meant a real strategist, not about game classes. 
fixing the target in the initial phase, watching its every movement and slowly approaching. With complete determination, delivering a blow that immediately kills the victim. Throughout human history, there have been many famous killers who used this tactic and were included in the history books. Tang Hua asks, It turns out that he didn't let her capture him, didn't give away a single move, and didn't let her get close enough. In addition, her ridiculous pride, which is incompatible with the assassin class, played a big role. At the same time in Luo Zayoki's subconscious, she sits entangled in Kai Zing's tentacles and thinks that the seven stars are a vile freak. Now she knows about his hidden abilities. As soon as the skill wears off, she will reach him. Kai Zing thinks that it is better not to reveal all the cards now while she is still conscious. She is a person in whom there is not a shadow of vagueness. She challenged him by directing her gaze to the camera. However, in this way she made it clear to him that she was also more sensitive to such influences. This was probably a case where it was better to respond in kind. That's why he used the 10% chance of the fear effect, which allowed him to break through her mental defenses. The main reason for her failure is that she revealed her strong side, which played against her. He says the next task will be much easier. Upon completion, it will help him return the level. Tang Hua says that he will finally do it. He is ready to do anything. At the same time, Zhang Lingyao says they must act faster. The guy says he shouldn't be so angry. He knows that he has not been in the village for a long time, so he took some medicine for him. This is a cute dog N3, who, on the first throw, received a grab and an exclusive high-class skill as an animal tamer. The system notifies that this guy is level 4, race human, racial value 30 points, class not selected. The guy says that he has not yet reached the 10th level, but is already a future tamer. His equipment and skills are associated with the account. It will be very profitable to take him to them. Zhang Lingyao tells this guy that then he will be with them. He will then take care of the boss, and he must catch the mutated boar. Cute Dog N3 says that he understood him. He will immediately run to catch this boar. Tang Hua asks, they just need to defeat the boss, right? Kai Zing says that moreover. He wants his account, things, and skills back. He wants everything back. 